Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's gotta be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man FE. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in you. Already know what that's about, you know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task, check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp, let the ball blast. Since we're since we're talking about, I'm not going to call it a drug because I know it's not. But since we're talking about <laughs> illegal substances, if you will, even though it's only federal now, have you guys seen the new footage out of Hunter Biden and the shit oh that he's my doing? God. How do they okay, come? I, I, seen, I only seen two videos where, he, where he's on the beach, like his, his ass is out, right? He's sweating to death. Yeah, sweating. Yeah. It looks like it's cold out. It's supposed I, to be, it's cold. I know. Yeah. He's sweating like fucking a whore in church, right? And then the one where he got the crack kind of thing. And tell me this. They're, it's at twenty point six. They're like two point six. They keep saying that. I know. But I know. But it was, are, they, are they going? Is it really two? You know what I'm saying? I don't like, know. Demand, I don't know. You, you, yeah. to, I know. you have to probably move the decimal to make I it. They're know. talking about who videos themselves doing it's this him. shit. Him. One. It's him. Two. Yeah. Tell me he wouldn't be able to show you a good fucking weekend. Yeah, that's oh, what I said to him. I say, I, say, I, say, I say it all the time. I said, bro, he's fucking I probably a good time. could not possibly be any different than that man in my views and, and what I stand for. I'd party with that motherfucker in Vegas for a weekend, though. You better I, believe I, I would. Any more than that, you might get sucked in. But yeah, yeah, one weekend, yeah, yeah. One for the big guy. That dude knows how to party, for he's, sure. He's banging Russian prostitutes raw and shit and, and filming is. them. I know. He, I mean, he the dude I, loves to be naked. Loves he really does. And not, pose. Not a great body on no. either, you would think. You know? <laughs> I think once you start getting cracked out, though, you start getting that confidence. You're confidence like, you fuck think. yeah, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, put a, I put a few pounds on maybe I'll start doing crack. And I, mean, I, I guess it, they, president's kids, right? Mm-hmm. They have always been under the, the the scrutiny of like a microscopic lens, microscopic lens. Sure, but is he the most notorious one? It has to be so right? far, yeah. Right? But again, it's only. Uh, 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 the era we live in now that you even know about this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's only this informational era. Think about it. Back in the day, you only knew what the two news channels told mm. you about the president, let alone his fucking son. Right. So they could have been. What was you know. what was Chappaquiddick? Who was that? Te- Who? Um, Who? Wait, what? Who? Chappaquiddick was. Uh, it was a one. brother of a president. It's Ted Kennedy's. Ted Kennedy's. Yeah. yeah. That he killed. He killed. He killed, killed a young girl, was, right? Who, who they, was he, it? Was Ted he, Kennedy he, killed somebody? He was drunk, drove drunk. off a bridge, yes. and she he so got out. So what did out. you say? What name did you say? Ted Kennedy. Okay, no, well, you said you said. Oh, it's the town where it happened. Where it happened. Oh, okay. Sh- yeah, okay. Chappaqu- yeah, Chappaquiddick. It's just that's what it's like, kind of like Watergate. You just hear Chappaquiddick. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. See, Roger had half yeah. the story. He thought that was the guy driving. But anyway, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no like, I, I, did, I said kind of like Chappaquiddick, which right, is right. talking about <laughs> you fucking idiots. <laughs> I I do remember this though. Yeah, I do. But wasn't he a senator, Ted Kennedy? So this happened when he was this was like brushed under, and it came Correct. out later in life, right? Correct. Right. Correct. No, no, I know, but the, the, even the authorities know about it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, wow. Yeah. So wait, yeah. did he get oh, did shit. he get in trouble at all? And any did he get, how old did he was do to charges? Did he get he charged left. or anything? How old was the girl? Do you remember the drown? She so she wasn't underage. Okay, so was she a prostitute? No. Because then it's no, she, the, like, she worked on this campaign. I think. Mm-hmm. 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 Damn. But like JFK, wow. he was notorious. You sounded for like Sling Blade shit. there. Was mm-hmm. it? <laughs> I'm on some of them rare French fried potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> but that's great. He crushed that fucking he roll, bro. Killed that roll. Billy Bob Thornton, even Chris is just laughing. He don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Ah, yeah, he, he don't know movies. Dude. I don't you, don't know, you never go full retard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Frankie knows the goddamn uh, uh, executive producers on the movies. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy that goes there like, boy, I want to get there early and watch the previews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Bro, I got an email. Did you get that email? It's just saw it. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. dude. It's coming out. What did he say? Two couple months? Couple well, months. Well, I don't think he said when it's coming out. He said no. I thought he said it Press should be released in a couple it. months. Going to do a big promotional yeah, push. Yeah, yeah. But it's in the final stages of edit. So pretty soon, Frankie's going to be uh, famous. No. Nah, more famous. More nah, famous. I'll never be famous. Mm. Bro, I'm, you I'm, had a pretty bro. significant role in that movie. Wait, bro, wait till you do it. You really did. I don't want to. I, 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 I don't want to. My, wanna, I don't wanna, my that, like, part in that movie. I mean, it was two days. Bro, that it was, fucking it was, scene. It was two listen, days of being on set, I know, but it's gonna be. I know, but it's that gonna be scene. 
four and a half seconds. But that scene was pretty fucking epic. It was, yeah, bro. I That's think it's pretty, pretty epic. Good. When they dude. add like yeah. sound, you saw it, too. right? You saw the scene when I showed you him. You, you haven't. Like, I don't oh yeah, just pictures. You never yeah, showed. Can't really talk clip. about uh, it. But, yeah. I did. I showed you the one. Just, I don't want, just, we'll talk about it later. It's just on a cell phone. What you? What I can show you, but I can't talk about it. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. Might tell you after. <laughs> yeah, very cool. But, yeah. bro, I told him he becomes a fucking big movie star on Part of the Entourage Fuck instantly. Yeah, dude. I'm the fucking corner man. Don't forget the little people. Yes. I'll be able yeah. to leave my job because yeah. I'm just going to carry his fucking shit around. Absolutely. That's, uh, bro, I would lo- listen, bro. What, what, what shit, I wish. Yeah. I, wish. I, mean, I mean, I don't wish. I don't know if I want to be a crazy movie star. You take us all with you like MC Hammer? But did? I would, yes, yeah. Bro. I would lose all my money with, yeah. just like MC Hammer. <laughs> yes, to take yes. care of you guys. <laughs> Buy us big fucking bracelets and fast cars, bro. Yeah. Let's go. I'm ready to do it. Frankie's he's moving up in the world. He's part of the boater community now. I know. He's moving <laughs> up, bro. This kid's moving up. He's got the flip About up. time, bro. <laughs> he's Honestly, gonna, I live at the Jersey Shore. And I always said I'm going to to buy one a house on the water. I want a house on the water before I buy a boat. So we got a boat. My wife fucking pushed us to it. And you know, mm-hmm. honestly, my my oldest is 13, mm-hmm. 12. You know, like you got yeah, yeah. Four, how many more years they have in the ho- home where like I got you, motherfucker. Absolutely. We're hanging out. So I'm about to make some memories, you know. Couldn't agree more. Renee is going to sell you guys to an island and start a religious cult. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what's going to happen. That, this is her plan. I would join it. Right? Renee's got a good heart, man. Uh, nah, I know. She's got a good heart. She's all right. No, nah, no. Nah, she's, <laughs> I'm, I lucked she's married out. to I you, bro. She's got a really good yes. heart. Yes. Yes. I did sure. luck out. Yeah, I'm tough, bro. I'm tough well, to do it, you know? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, anyway, I was listening, I was talking to Chris about it earlier. Mm-hmm. Getting, uh, listening to uh, Rogan's podcast. That's why I brought up the nuclear power. He had this guy, Mark, I don't fucking know, and the son or some some fucking scientist, smart guy. And he, uh, I think they were talking about AI. He's pretty much out. He's he's on the, he's on the fence of AI is like you know Rogan's always think AI is bad. Elon Musk think AI is bad. He's like, no, I think it's he's he's trying to say he's like, it can't it, it, it can't you know, why is why do you think it's gonna be bad you know? Uh, yeah. And like because the possibilities are kind of endless, right? And then too, he just doesn't think. Oh, what, what did he say? Oh, there is no AI. He's like, can fold clothes. No robot. There's no robot in the world or in labs right now that can fold clothes. But there's definitely a mechanized uh, uh, assembly line that fucking folds shit all day. So it's just, they probably just never put the time into having it fold clothes. Maybe there's not a, know, an bro. AI with arms and legs. That, well, what, no, there, he said. You ever seen a book? said there's, an, a, there's no AI that can fold clothes because it, it's probably too intricate or every fucking, not every shirt's the exact same. Right. Like, right. you know what I mean? You could, probably, you could probably get a robot to fucking fold <laughs> one shirt. Of yeah, the same shirt over right. and over, but to do all do do my fucking laundry? Yeah, nope. Yeah. It's probably true because if that's the case, I might get rid of Renee. No. <laughs> <laughs> you put two holes in it, sold. <laughs> Designer jeans that have like that that are like worn. You know what I mean? Like have the knees worn out and stuff. Those jeans are obviously made on an assembly line or whatever. But the actual scuffing. A dude does that with a big fucking sander, just like. I saw this. On the I thought right. I yeah. thought you would just wear them yeah. on, on the weekends. <laughs> you just get the knees all scuffed out. Here we go. Here we go. Um, no, I seen this on Instagram. You saw it. I saw it. Yes, I'm like, like holy, holy shit, shit, that's still yeah. done by a human. And, so, and just like. This, this is what we got here. Yeah. This is where they get, get most of the information from. <laughs> yes. Instagram. You too, motherfucker. You too. And what, you. The, what the fuck facts? The when, fuck you, facts. when you yeah. text me earlier, like, hey, a couple talking points for later, and you sent me nuclear, I was like, oh, he's talking about, like, like the uh, people were worried today that thought New York City was getting bombed nuclear. Nu- like but did something drop happen a nuke. or people were just Yeah, yeah explain it. How do you know reason, this? How do you know this? I, 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 I don't know a lot, but this is what I've surmised in the last 20 minutes before I got here, that... New York City or that region area, our area, I guess, decided to run some sort of PSA on what to do in case of a nuclear fallout. In case why, they, yeah, why? They're, they're just because fucking, apparently wow. Putin said something to the respect of, you know, we, we have the nuclear capacity. We could use it or whatever. Right, so New right. York City decided to run the. It's fucking fear mongering, bro. Yeah. Nobody's dropping a nuke. The whole world's done. So yeah, if you do, you're doing these evacuations or these these drills. If the people that are supposed to be evacuated in case this happens mm-hmm. don't know, right? Like you're just causing freaking mayhem. Exactly. Well, they were talking about that because they were Look, saying I'll, how like nuclear nuclear weapons are almost. This guy was saying too, nuclear weapons are almost dumb because you can't use them mm-hmm. in a sense. You yes. know, because if you right, use them, right. like you're guaranteed. Like Russia, if if if, Pu- if Putin wants to fucking, um. Use a nuclear weapon. That's pretty much saying, okay, 
you right. know, we're gonna retaliate and, and you're, you're gonna we're gonna just destroy you right. to bits, right? Ever since the nuclear, <laughs> but he, had, was, I know, but yeah. but this guy was saying though they have those those hypersonic stuff, yeah. where that could fucking do crazy destruction, but not be nuclear. Right. There's actually hypersonic nuclear, and then there's also this guy said just regular hypersonic that could fuck up an area, but not. Like a nuclear bomb, right? Okay. right. And they, and you they don't have people have. Do those. you still have a nuclear fallout? Like the radiation drifts. I would imagine. I would, and, I would imagine not with a nuclear one, but yeah. 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 Got it. So uh, the PSA was New York City releases PSA for a nuclear attack after Russia state media boasted Putin could wipe out the U.S. East Coast. Video says keep radi- radioactive dust away from you. That's part of their PSA. How, how do, do you how keep the, you do dust away from I didn't read the whole thing, but get inside, stay inside, it says. Is Put a mask of, on. Right. <laughs> Can we help that bomb go to fucking California? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that, brother. Maybe we, get a go fun, maybe that. we can get a GoFundMe to say, hey, the first attack, shoot over there, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, people, I guess, were interpreting it wrong, hearing it wrong. You know how fucking people, you know. People, two people hear the same thing and have completely different outtakes. Right, Apparently, right. people thought that New York City was under attack, and people were posting about it. Look, here's one. Damn. We are so unprepared for anything. Yeah. Here's one. Well, hang on a minute. It was, uh, in, a, uh, it was in a group. Sorry, right, I thought it was not in a group. Right here. Somebody posted this. I don't know if anybody heard the rumor that New York City was going to get nuked, but just so you know, a Black Hawk just flew over my house going towards the city, and I'm really getting nervous now. Is this a friend of yours? No. It's just some random person on Instagram. Jesse. It was Jesse. You're not not sending. It was Jesse. (laughs) Jesse was jumping out of the Black Hawk over Manhattan. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But that was the whole idea of the nuclear bomb, like the nuclear deterrent, is that nobody can shoot this stuff off. We all have bombs pointed at each other, right. but no, more, it's it's mutually assured destruction. Yeah. But right. we're at the point now where, I don't know, man. I think anybody with any sense, obviously, any dictator, but they were so worried about Kim Jong-un for a while because he's right. a little it's nuts. A they called him Rocket Man, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, he, he might have actually, but he doesn't actually have nuclear power, right? Like, uh, not nuclear power, nuclear... Delivery system, Delivery right? capability, yeah. right? Right, yeah, that's what I they don't say. Know. I don't but believe. again, I think he could shoot maybe south korea right over the border and then we have to get involved which is fucked up you know i don't think you know the scary thing about putin is like he's starting to come to the end of of his run right people Mm -hmm. are pissed with him in russia all over the world they're pissed with him um are they though isn't like the economy the fucking great the rubles great it was i think the russians are doing pretty fucking good you know but um yeah i mean but again, like he was supposed to go in there and wipe up the Ukraine. Now he's they're in this long dragged out war. Right. Like you or, just hope yeah. he doesn't. God forbid. Why are we not seeing it much anymore, though? You're really not seeing all. You know how in the beginning, before they got the eighty billions, yeah. right, they right. were posting these attacks, and some of them looked very staged. You yeah, know, they had the cardboard yeah. cutout guns for a while and stuff, <laughs> and you were seeing that, and you yeah. were seeing you were seeing like cars that looked like they were literally overturned by forklifts and shit. Right, right. And you're not really seeing that nah, anymore. Why is that? For what, for what, they, they got the money, and they now, already got the money, you know and I mean? don't have to sell right. it. Didn't you see? It? I seen something like where they found someone that found a bunch of uh, briefcases full of money that was from really? a politician. Was they got caught. Completely oh, on what imagine. we sent. What we sent. Imagine it. So eighty million completely know, okay, untraceable. Okay, listen, Can't right. trace. I know, say we how did we send eighty billion? That's what I'm saying. Bills, but that's isn't that, right, isn't that, is that the only way? Bitcoin, we send. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bitcoin. But you send, and then did they, did they fucking convert it to their fucking Ukrainian fucking? No, I'm sure, it's, it's probably, all electronic. I'm sure it's not but hard again, cash, right? Again, what are you going to do with friggin' dollars in a war? Right, that we're sending right. supplies, right. aid. Th- I think that's more than just sending sure, cash. Sure, I don't sure, need sure. fucking cash, right? Sure. It's, it's probably we're financing a war, right? Right, right. It's but crazy. how much? I, I, you know, we've talked about it before, Frank. How much do you believe that you see? Whether it's American news, whether it's foreign news, how much is propaganda? I don't you know believe I mean? anything. How anymore. much is propaganda? I, don't, yeah, I, don't I mean, is, is Putin what we hear he is on the news? How do we know? Yeah, you I mean, really how do we don't. know? I mean, I, I, I don't know, think he. he I, listen, he, I'm not saying he's an upstanding individual. No, I think obviously I, some of it can be he proven. Just, he's done yeah. some heinous acts. No Bro, question. Some, yo, he supposed that, but though he got he killed the one guy, he was like uh, talking shit about him, right? Right. And fucking, they put. Poison on his doorknob. Yeah, yeah. Literally yeah. opened uh-huh. the fucking door and died from the poison on the doorknob. <laughs> do you see how they? Yeah. Do you see how they uh, assassinated Kim Jong Un's half brother, who um, left, who defected? Did you see how they run, killed him? Run up, someone ran up to him in like a, a train station or yes, something and, yes. and stabbed him. Or no, or no, like no. It was it was some sort of like mustard gas or something like that. Okay, okay. They wiped on his face, but they convinced the two girls that did it 
that they were they did they did like a practice run. You know, this was all like played out and staged and, right. and done a bunch of times and practice runs. But they convinced them they were part of like a hidden camera show, like in like oh, in North Korea, where here. they were going to be filmed and they were going to wipe like something they have on shows people's. In North Korea, I don't think I, they have shows. Listen, bro, like, read the article. Read <laughs> yeah. the article. They were convinced they were going to be part of a hidden. That, that is that hidden, is crazy. That uh, and they they targeted this one guy and they said you know, after idea. after they'd done a bunch of runs already with random people. And right. they said, "Get you know this is this is your next target," and they wiped this this I don't know what it was specifically, but it was a gas. It was a it was some sort of lab made poison, poison that they right. wiped on his face. He didn't know because you see him oh. walk up to security after they did it. And he's like, you know, explaining. They take him into the bathroom. You know, like an hour later, he's dead. You know wow. what I mean? But that was because Kim Jong Un put a hit out on his brother because he was. It's funny that you say that. Take it, get rid of the competition. Well, no. Well, he was. Oh, he'd already defected. He'd already left. But he was talking too much oh, about oh, oh, oh. North where, Korea. So wait, so wait where he was, was this? This was in. No, so was it wasn't in North yeah. Korea. No, it was not no, North Korea. He was the one that went to Disney China, World. China, right? maybe was it in China? I forget where it was. He was wow. the one that went to Disney World, and they fucking <sighs> flipped out on him. Yeah. Remember the podcast I sent you about Kim Jong Un's. Father, dude, or, wild, yeah, his dad. right. That whole fucking his dad, his, his grandfather, so, actually fought in the war, the, the like North Korea, South Korea war, right, right, you right. Know, fought against Japan, Japan, right. He was kind of a hero. He was kind of a hero. That's how he and he got. That's how he got himself in power. And then the son, Kim Jong Un's, Kim Jong Un's dad, Kim Jong Il, he's the one that started to get really into. Western culture, so he started doing the propaganda with the films and shit. Right, making and, up their yeah, own history. Yeah, that make, he's yo, a god that, no, his dad. Yeah, his dad was born over there, and his, no, no, his dad. Yeah, he was born. <laughs> yeah, crazy shit. He he was born in, uh, you know, uh, on the mountain. You know, came down from the mountain and shit. Yeah. And bro, <laughs> this guy, he shot eighteen. Uh, 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 he shot golf. Golf did golf. All four, 18 hole in ones. <laughs> his first, it first was time his, ever. First time ever, and then retired. That's 18 hole in ones. Yes. No, but what I'm saying about the whole movie thing was his father, you know, Kim Jong Un's father or whatever. Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Il, whatever. He uh, he kidnapped two Korean movie stars. Yeah, like South made, Korean movie stars. Right, right, right. South Korean. Like, and, he and was fuck, so yeah. into movies and, and shit. And like, dude, for like for that. like yeah. years, like five years or yes, something. Yes, yes. Made a bunch of movies yeah, with them and shit. Them. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Fucking but wild, doesn't bro. it show you the power of like what media propaganda can yes, do? That yes. that's what they fed the people. Yes, and the people buy it. And those people have no other alternate right. news at right, all. So right. this is what happened. That's so what happened. That's what they're trying to do here. Shit. What they're trying yeah. to do here, man. It really is. Know. You know. I know. It's scary to think. Crazy. I mean, the same outlets that they're trying to do that on. No, mm. you have people that are putting the real shit out. We still mm. can connect with with, with like minded people. All you the can way find around. it, but there's people that don't like to think outside the box or outside just the, the normal shit they hear every day. So that's it's hard. It is. Yeah. You know what we were all told just with, like, the, oh, with just, the Uvalde shooting. We were all told in the beginning. You know, mm-hmm. police responded immediately, and then. As the more this story unfolds and opens up, it's it's sickening. It's a crime against humanity, man, Listen, and of the worst kind. Children, like they, they, they this, they, this is my question. Like you know, I, I hear people saying, "Oh, you know, that was meant to happen," and all this that. There was a lot of cops there. There's no way you're going to convince 30 cops that this we're going to let these kids get shot and die. Right. But if you're a police officer and your superior tells you to stand down, but you hear gunshots and children dying, which is exactly what happened, can't you take like don't you have the authority of as an officer? Like, what's I'm, the worst they can do to you? Fire you? But not put even, you in jail? What's the worst that, they can do to you? It's like a soldier, right? You're supposed right. to follow orders unless right. it's going it, to. They're you're sending me into suicide. They don't. They don't want you know free mean? thinkers. Nobody wants the. It's so hard to believe. If I was a police be officer now, there. do not want free thinkers. But a police, not excuse me, not, too, not it's, a police it's, officer, it's like, a border patrol officer, but who's right, who's right. issued a firearm, right, off duty. No, no, he took a firearm from uh, the. I know, but uh, in his normal course of duties, he's yeah, issued right. a firearm, so he was efficient in 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 how to how, how proficient rather in how to use guns. Right, he saw he he wasn't under orders. He was operating under his own free exactly, thinking. Exactly, and he neutralized the threat in that case. You know what I mean? He came well, in there. A whole like bunch of officers stood around. You watch the newest video of the hallway where they're no, standing there. They have full body armor and shields. Yes. And they're hearing rounds go off That's down the, the hallway. Thing. They're saying and they're retreating. And they're saying that retreating. Uh, we thought it went from a from a shooting situation to a hostage situation. You would just you're heard hearing 25 shots, shots fired. Shots. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Dude. All should be terminated. But again, when you're Every a police officer, you take an oath to serve and protect. I'm right. not taking an oath to take orders from my superior only. Right. I'm here to protect the public. And if, if I'm using my judgment, like, look, 
you're telling me not to do this, but I I feel like I need to do this. Yep. Not one guy felt I, that I know. way. I mean, so at the very least, shouldn't that top guy be terminated? Shouldn't he face oh, repercussions? Oh, sure at the is. very it least, it has to be. You know? to be. What happens if you don't do your job? I don't even really know. You just kind of hang out and go to lunch, yeah, Roger. But whatever you do for a living. Yeah. Uh, but I'm saying, I clean a pool once in a while, you know right? Yeah, we you see the backyard. You need, you need, your, backyard you need your pool clean. <laughs> Not, no, with, with your shirt off all oiled up? No, no thanks, bud. He doesn't even do it with a vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a sucker fish. Yeah, down there. you don't even need a vacuum. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, an algae, just an algae eating monger over here. Uh, but I'm saying, like, uh, what happens if you don't do your job? You get yeah, fired. If yeah. I go to work and I don't, and I don't produce, at that's the, what I'm being paid to do? At the very least, I'd be reprimanded reprimanded yes. questioned you I know mean, something would happen i think every one of those like those guys like they, there's no way like you think they're how are they living with themselves I that's got to be the worst sucks. part if it they sucks. if they like do they have kids they can't, themselves they can't, you know can't all mean? they can't all be bad humans right no. dude there wasn't there's there gotta so, be some people know, in that bunch that's that are living with this massive right. amount of guilt right and now obviously you don't know the real story and right. what, what was happening. We still don't and, know. And, and we know. still don't. But, but, but the video don't lie. But I know. the video. But there's no sound. Like maybe the shots right. all happened before they got in the building, and they thought at that point, um, this is a hostage situation. I don't hear any more gunshots. Mm -hmm. Maybe you some, see. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, listen, you gotta listen, look at it from could, every could, angle. Could right. be true, but the the guys come running down the hallway. Why would they come running if there wasn't shots fired? You know what I mean? It's so just, I know. Yeah. And I think it's reported that but didn't did, shots were um, wasn't did, supposed didn't want the cops go and get their own kids and shit out of there. Yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah, I mean that's yeah. that like go dude, that's fuck you you that, go get your kid first. I'm and, down and down with that. that. But go then go get the other fuck kids. That's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. You know, right. <clears throat> it's just such a crazy situation. To even think, um, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Right, fuck. it is. It is. And I the think we the, all. I don't care what side of the aisle you stand on when it comes to the Second Amendment or gun rights or whatever. It affects everybody equally yes. in the in the respect that our hearts are broken uh, for that, these families that, and that these is, children. It that, affects all of us equally. That is that our way. most priceless possession Correct. as a country, as a family. Correct. I mean, the children are, are, are the future, right? Yeah. I mean, Michael said it best, bro. Yep. Um, yeah. Michael Ho. Yeah, even That's though Michael he, even though he oh, wasn't. Don't you know the children are a future? Is that Michael? Yeah, but he, he, well he was his, fu his future. Yeah, 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 his future. I know. His future. Not a good his idea. Future. Not the best reference. Full there, Chris. difference. Hey, Chris, not the best. Best I'm reference. Gonna, I'm going to tell you. Now, we, we don't know. <clears throat> Again, that story is still is still out, right? Bro, wow. do we have Corey? Do, hey, Corey, what's the one? What's the one? Corey Feldman's been talking about. He was on the come. Corey Hayman's is dead. Corey Feldman's still alive, right? No, but he paid out civilly, didn't he? Didn't he? Oh, don't ruin my <laughs> All right, bro. Let's not. It's okay. How about R. Kelly got 10 years? Bro. Yeah, Wait, that's crazy. I thought he got more. 20, no, 20. Oh, yeah, 20. Say, Gislaine, Gislaine, got, Gislaine yeah, got 10, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. she got 20. She so, got 30? Yeah. Yeah. No, who 30 got someone, years? Someone posted today years. the only person ever in history to be charged for multiple sex crimes against minors and not one single co conspirator name released. Well, no, not one uh, uh, of the like list. One of the trap, one of the, tra right. none of the traffickers. Sex yeah, traffickers. Yeah. Yeah. List. But again, now, if you're a, um, a pimp <sighs> or a madam and you're pimping out little girls, do the people that you're pimping them out to get, get in trouble? That would, well, you'd be should considered be, yeah. a John, and I would think so, right? Yeah, Isn't that what think? they call him? I guess in that situation, it's different. You're, yeah. you're, she was I like to call him a Rogers. Right, and, right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> We meet at the back door. No. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy. It's never ended. <laughs> it's, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. <laughs> I like these. This, this this was a good... Uh, so you guys didn't hear one. that about the New York City thing today? No, no I didn't I'm know. I'm telling you. People were texting me. like, that that oh, was, to hear. You know, sending me screenshots. I'm like... And I looked it up immediately, and it says PSA. So no, obviously, it, okay. people right. just jump to conclusions. How many miles are we from New York City, you think? Not that like, well. As, way the crow as flies. the way the crow yeah. flies, yeah. what were we fifty miles? Fifty, probably 50, right. 50 probably less, miles, maybe yeah. less. I could see the World mm -hmm. Trade Center burning from New uh, Neptune. Yeah, wow. right. I could wow. see the smoke from from that's Neptune, sure. New Jersey. Yeah, that's only twenty you know I mean? miles up from us. Yeah, really, that wind's going it. the right yep. way. We're fucked. Yeah. I was sitting when that happened. I was listening to Howard Stern. I was sitting in in uh, Neptune, New Jersey, getting ready to fuel up some some boats, and I heard it. And, it, and when it first happened, you know, Howard was reporting on it, and he said. Um, Oh, it looks like a small like Cesta might have flew into the World Trade Center. This is crazy. And as the story, because it didn't, you know, immediately catch on right, fire. Right, it was just right. like a big fireball, and then it it didn't look. It looked bad, 
and the plane, nobody planes, had any clue at that point that both towers hit the were trade coming center down. Before. Small planes, yeah, right. right? Yep, so yep. that's it was almost kind of like ah. Oh, so he's really. reporting mm-hmm. on it, and then you know, as the fire started going, like I'm, I'm I sat in that I, I should have been reprimanded because I didn't go to work for the rest of the day. I just sat in the truck and listened to this whole thing because it was I couldn't believe Crazy, it was happening. Yeah, I remember right. the day so crystal oh, me clear. Too, Everybody man. does. Me too. Everybody and. Does. I could see, by the time I left, I could see smoke billowing. I could see it, you know? I, I was actually building the Lester Glenn building on Route 37 right here. I was in the union. It was just me and the one guy I was working with, my foreman. You like, guys built that whole building, just the two no, of you? No, no, no. Damn. It, 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 you know, <laughs> I do work. No, it, was, it was like the end. So yeah. we were doing a little punch-out nonsense. He came He came down, and he was like, hey, man, a, a plane just hit the Trade Center. And, I, dude, seriously, I'm so oblivious to the world at that point. You're like, the, what's the Trade Center? Exactly what I said. <laughs> but like, that's what I felt like. But I looked at his face, and I saw, like, the panic in it. Yeah. So I'm like, I got to be panicked, too. I don't even know what the fuck he's talking right, about. Right. So he came back, bro. He came back, like, 15 minutes later. He's like, go home. Go home. And I'm like, what? He's like, the, the Trade Center just, the, the trade center building just fell. Mm. And I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, yeah, the fucking. Yep. I, I really didn't it get. It must the, be a pretty important place. Yeah. yeah. I go home, and I'm like, holy shit, man. But you knew what they were. You didn't know what they were called. Uh, I don't Did know. You don't I remember was, the Twin Fucking Towers? You bro, don't I was I'm, I'm, such I'm, a pivotal I'm, part of the New York City sky. I line, am you know? a special ed student. Uh, and <laughs> I, you know what I mean? It's not. I was sleeping in. And Renee barged in in college. You guys apartment. remember? Do you remember? I mean, obviously, you didn't know at the time, but they were scrambling jets. Once they figured out it was a commercial airliner, yes, yes. they scrambled jets. And jets were in the air, right? Time the second one hit. Why could they not? Take that jet down. Obviously, well, it, it came a lot so of, fast. Where the jets come? No, from? what was the time frame between the two? Was it? Was it like, like six minutes or something? Yeah, right? I thought yeah. seven minutes rang a bell. But yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, I think the other. I mean, plane, jets can scramble pretty quick. The other know? plane yeah. got shot down, though, right? That's no. what we think. The one oh, in you Pennsylvania. Think? When well, they took, no. Supposedly, the, the, I think the people the took them down. I want to believe that. Yeah. But, I mean, you, you think you got shot down? I guess they probably yeah. wouldn't release that if yeah. it did, right? Yeah, they probably yeah. wouldn't. And again, that that you know, it already hit the uh, Pentagon. That right. could have been hidden, heading for DC. I don't know where yeah. that was at. That was it, it landed in Western PA. My mom was bugging. You yeah. know, that's where I went to school. Yeah. Western PA. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, fucking yeah. PA is very big. Like all of PA, the, the plane's yeah, gonna I land know, on your dorm room. <laughs> and in yo, like a cornfield, and, right? and Renee, Renee was bugging because her dad worked in a trade center. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my you god! You know, but right, yeah. like a couple days a week, you know. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, wow. luckily, you don't get to work till ten o'clock. Wow! Damn! It's just fucking. That was. So anyway, yeah, but speaking of the way the crow flies, New York City, all that, if there is a nuclear bomb, will we, 50 miles, right? We, we're going to feel it, right? Oh, we're going to, ha- yeah. We're going to evacuate. We, okay, we, what do you I, do? Immediately, wind direction is going to become a pivotal What do you factor. do? What do you do? I, 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 what do you do? I don't know. Do you? Does anybody here know what you do? No. I mean, your immediate, going, your, I know this. Your immediate I, reaction would be to south. pack up your family <laughs> I will and get it. on the road. Can you imagine what the roads are going to uh, look like? Dude, I know Five this. minutes after that happened, the roads are going to be just traffic. When I, when I'm going to I'm 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 mount my fucking AR on the back of my truck. I'm definitely going to Definitely jump. I'm gonna tie a bunch just of, like COVID times. I'm gonna tie a bandana around my neck, <laughs> so, I'm, so, I'm, so I'm safe up here. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm, I'm coming for it. But where I lived in Middletown, Delaware, literally like I don't know, like five miles across the water was yeah. the Salem, um, New Jersey. Uh, power plant or whatever. Oyster yeah. Creek, not Oyster Creek. Oh, no, no, it's no. in Salem, New Jersey. I don't. Th- yeah. I think Oyster, Oyster Creek is Lacey, down. right? Oyster Creek is, is that Wear closed down? down? down. Yeah. yeah, that's closed down. Yeah, but um, when I moved there, I didn't know this. You know what I mean? And uh, they would hand out charcoal pills every year at the fire department, just in case there was some kind of release. You could take charcoal pills to kind of stop. What is that? Iodine. All right, I'm some lying. Mm-hmm. Iodine. But, I didn't know this. Like, just like, I like the iodine you put like your feet in. What is that supposed to do? Mm-hmm. I guess it's slow. If if you do have exposure, <clears throat> it kind of slows down from it absorbing into your body or whatever, so you can get away. Yeah. But I didn't know this. And then oh. you know, my father in law tells me, I'm like, what the fuck do I live? Yeah. I'm like, what? I, you know what I'm saying? You know, probably because because. Once that happens, everybody's going to want to do the same thing, get away from that area. This right. guy so was the listen, roads are going to get like, can I finish, sir? I'm sorry. So the roads are going to get immediately, you know, they're going to be parking lots. Right. Probably the best thing to do would be get on a fucking boat that has some long range distance because the ocean's wide fucking open. You yeah, know what I mean? You, yeah. could, you could get out of the area. Way- you just got a boat, Frankie. That's right. Yo. Is this why? Game plan. All our families, we meet on Frankie's boat, <laughs> right? If it happens. It's not that big of a boat. <laughs> Everybody right, bring Chris, pe- your family can't come. That's it. Everybody bring peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> so we can survive and we're gone. It's scary. Yeah, that's scary shit right there. You know, now. but the, the, this what this guy was saying, that nuclear is, he said there's, I think, maybe one death. I mean, I don't know about Chernobyl. Chernobyl's a little different, but yeah. even f- the Japan, well, that was all, Japan, all this, mm-hmm. one death 
one death. And they said, they don't even know if it's the guy ended up getting cancer later on. But I mean, people wait, get cancer wait, wait. all the time. So There's only wait, wait, what what do you mean by one death? Yeah, what one death attributed to nuclear power plants. To nuclear power plants. Oh, nuclear power plants. Yeah, what are you yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Chernobyl killed how I, many people? She just uh, said Chernobyl said on a sex set. But again, I'm, I'm not what, talking about Chernobyl. What's well, the one in PA? Three Mile Island. Three Mile, three mile Island. island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't mean, think anybody. Yeah, he's this guy. He, he well, it's know. usually a listen, long listen, term, listen. long I'm sure term. Know. You know what I mean? I'm sure he knows. Long term over. I mean, they, there has to be a no, ton of cancer deaths attributed to right. Three Mile Island, but I don't know. way out. You know, I don't know. I don't know. He whatever. So this guy is saying that, but he's saying. Like you know, all these people that are into green energy, it's like they're they're not into green energy because this we have. He's like they're trying to reinvent stuff that we have. He's like, we already. He's have, like right. nuclear power plants are so much better than they were back in the day. Yeah. He's yeah. like he's like this is the way. Think right. about the biggest disasters outside of Three Mile Island. You had Chernobyl, and then you had Fukushima. Fu- Fukushima, yeah. But both of those, if you look into the story, they were built shoddy. They were maintained shoddy as fuck. Like yeah. they didn't. You guys remember yeah. the, uh, the Kursk, the Russian uh, nuclear powered sub that sank? I feel like no. they tried yeah, to rescue. They, they tried to rescue about. those guys. I mean, I don't know where it was exactly. They tried to raise it. They tried to figure out everything they could do with this thing. But right. nuclear pow- powered, like class one sub, huge fucking. That's sub. A, most all of them are. Right? But they believe. I, I think, think they, are now. they believe what happened on it was there was some sort of missile failure on there where they were either loading around for a practice. I forget. I'm sure people oh, are gonna might have people are gonna Google it and correct the fuck out of me. But right. something happened where it actually internally blew up. They thought there still could be quarters of it that could have been you know um the, they they See, didn't know that the, that was leaking nuclear it was an explosion with mm-hmm. with right with, right uh you know so missiles like, so d- i mean not that you know or anybody and they else. tried to save you know people that they assumed were still alive i think wow. they ended up raising the curse didn't like, they curse what, what what is the like what is it like a nuclear what that Warhead? gives them energy no, oh, oh, oh what are you about? Yeah, there's a reactor. Right? A, what, what is it? You know what I mean? I it's, it it's basically piece. harnesses the power of splitting atoms, right? right? It's a no. piece. Of, it's a piece. Is that? Of, I don't know. Maybe it's, it is. It's yeah, a I piece. Guess, I guess it is. Bro, yeah, it's yeah, a piece of plutonium. Sense. You have to keep a, it cool. That's know, the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it can't get hot. That's if it gets hot or it's depleted of water in any way, right. and that reactor heats up. That's then you're then 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 that's that's where it creates like. So, but I'm just saying. um like obviously they're in submarines. I think aircraft carriers, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, could you put it in a car, Probably. or is it like, or is it something really heavy? Yeah, right. Because you, you know have to have lead around it or something. Uh, right? I I think the implication or the 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 negative aspects of running in a car that is prone to accidents, right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is too high. They're yeah, not going to do yeah, that. A, a nuclear sub. I mean, there's only right. been one that I've ever heard of that sank. I don't think there's ever been a, a well, aircraft I mean, carrier. A, a nuclear. I mean, imagine anything aircraft that it could be in battle happen. is prone to accidents. Yeah. But, right. Yeah. But how many? How many? How many do? nuclear yeah. things have you ever heard Access of? This guy was I've only ever heard of one. Uh, sub I would say aircraft carriers and that. Probably. No, but they're, that's they're, this guy. They have a whole battalion of fucking. You know, they're surrounded by destroyers and all kinds of shit. No, right. They're right, kept right. very right. safe. But that's that's what this guy was saying that some of these hypersonic uh, missiles. Could possibly take out our aircraft carriers, and that makes us. Uh, it wow. makes it wow. makes a different. different yeah, ball for sure. Because don't we, you're, isn't you're there something in, of? in place where like it's it's we have some system? Jesse would know the name the of it. Iron this, Dome. The yes. Iron Dome. Well, that's we do, Israel but, has an Iron Dome. Listen, we, we gave it, it to him. Right. We gave it to him. Right. So but I'm now, sure suppose, we have up and down our coast. I guarantee right. we got a lot of shit. Supposedly when, these missiles. Frankie, when Frankie gives me head, I call it the Iron Dome. Boom boom. I like it. <laughs> you want to hear some uh, some a cool story about nuclear subs? Um, England's nuclear deterrent, right? So we have all nuclear bombs and all this other shit. They have three nuclear submarines that at at any given time throughout the year, there's one of those three nuclear submarines are circling the oceans in case they got attacked. That was their attack beyond the grave kind of shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's been like that since since World War Two or since, since the Cold War rather, and they just never upgraded it. Yeah. There's still submarines. There's still, three... at any given time, one of the three nuclear submarines is in the ocean. Yeah. So if they're attacked, that submarine is going to go and shoot nuclear bombs at whoever. Are there people them. on that thing? Of course. Like at all times. I would say yeah. So you're spa- you're stationed on those things usually, yeah, right? right. Mm-hmm. And you don't come up for months at a time. Right now. Imagine that, dude. That's, that's nuts. That's got to be fucking. And it just wild, filters the though. air. I guess like a plane does, right? It just kind of filters the air and systems. But, but like and... a plane has air on the outside of it. You know what I'm saying? Like how well, people, fuck, you got how that, does it do that? You, you know? got that one guy that's farting on the sub. Yeah. 
<laughs> did, like, they, did, they, did they get oxygen from the water on the uh, and you know what I mean? Like right. honestly, how the fuck did they get oxygen? Uh, uh, nuclear fucking fish. You have a having a nuclear capability. Oh, oh, maybe or, when they or, go up, they have to surface every once in a while. It's like it's like being the baddest ass on the block or having the most biggest proficient arsenal. Of, it's like having a big dick, of, Raj. I don't it's know. Like being, uh, it's like it's like. <laughs> It's like a two hand. It's like no one Brazilian <laughs> Jiu Jitsu, no one Taekwondo, no one all that shit. Nobody's like, gonna nobody's like, gonna fuck. fuck with you. Hey, nobody's uh, gonna hey, fuck with you. Hey. Yeah. Frankie. It's We're like fucking living Frankie. it, bro. We're living it. Yeah, look at him, right? His bomb's not very big, but it's like being Frankie. Yeah. Even a little fella and they still My don't bomb is not big, huh? <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, right. If you can control it if you can concentrate the power. So yeah, I'm just saying, well, I'm I'm advocating for nuclear power. Yeah, no. Yeah, did you push remember the toxic, the toxic Avenger power there is. Yeah, the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, yeah, he had yeah, the I mop. Remember, he had yeah. the mop, right, yeah, bro? Yeah, that yeah. was so dope. I had them. Yep. Dude yeah. always had like garbage cans yes, and all types yeah, of yeah. right. What what happened to him? He got then you get thrown in a vat of something, a vat of, like yes. nuclear waste. That's what it was. And yeah. usually, yeah. usually that turns people bad. Yeah, yeah. but this dude <laughs> was good. good. Yeah, yeah, was yeah, good. Yeah. He no, was probably he, the he first people with a mop. Up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, shit was dripping. But everybody, <laughs> at all everybody was the guys he fought. His yeah. boys, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. all like yep. some kind of like you know Mutants. garbage pail kid. Garbage pail kid. That's actually they were great. That's what they were actually. Garbage pail kid. Grab another one over there. Slide over there. Yeah, yeah. This kid is such a fucking. Orders you around. Such a bad inf- no, he's just a bad influence. Every time I come here, I never drink ever. Yeah, I come dude, here. I'm having yeah, a yeah. beer. A beer, too. No, I'll, do, too. I'll do one, too, sir. Thank I, you. I drank. I, I worked out a lot today, buddy. <laughs> you deserve it. Thank you. I worked out. At, we hit pads in, in the uh, in the outside. It's fucking 90-something degrees. Freaking, dude. And it, the humidity is what kills you, man. I love mm-hmm. it. It's so good to see Mark's house today. Just yeah. like all the memorabilia. I haven't yeah. been there in a while. You know yeah, what I mean? To yeah. see everybody. It's so cool. The fact that uh, we really started at his dude's basement. Yeah. And remember the beginning, he just had carpet. And then because yeah, yeah, yeah. Christine didn't really think, like, these guys aren't going to keep doing this. And, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then she like was a, like, yeah, she tore it all up. It's all yeah, mats now. Eventually, she, yeah. put, she was like, all right, Wait, not going to tra- leave my basement. You didn't just throw mats down over the. You couldn't train on carpet. At first, you? it was just carpet. Rolling or. Pa- oh, no, no, just pads. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Carpet, he doesn't like, do Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. It was just boxing. Thank you. He does rolling. But now, Mark yeah. made it. It was always a night. Like, he has a weightlifting gym in there. Like, literally a, a gold gym set up. All the power. The, um, hammer strength machines. I hear his house is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Pino's Pizza, baby. Yes, sir. Pino's Pizza. Renwood Bridge. Mm hmm. Crushes it. The best. Some of the best pizza I ever had. This we, guy, you're in Pennsylvania, bro. I don't even know good pizza. I eat, mm-hmm. I, I eat fucking bowling alley pizza, and I'm like, you know what? This this is actually <laughs> decent. <you know? laughs> but uh, we used to go to the city all the time for like, you know, on Christmas, and we would take the, the train out of Woodbridge, and we would stop and eat Pino's Pizza before we went to the oh, city. Oh, it's been around yeah, that yeah. long. Oh, yeah. oh Pino's um, been around for forever. forever. Yeah, he used to be right behind the train station. Mark's yeah. always had her like his family. No, Mark. Yeah, Mark had it probably. Jeez, I don't know when since. Uh, I mean, uh, their f- their family are pizzeria family. Yeah, yeah. You know his, I mean? yeah, his wife's so family. So Mark, Mark's story is he was in the military and he was a boxer in the military, right? That's Correct. He right, boxed, right. Am- amateur. Well, he he boxed oranges. Amateur. Yeah. yeah. Um, boxed oranges. But he uh, he went to the mill. He picked the military because at the time. One, the USA boxing coach in the military was fucking really really good, so he wanted to work with him. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of, speaking like of that. boxing, um, Jake Paul got a, oh, got a yeah. new. This I might know, be his toughest fight I would to say date. So. I would but say do you so. know? So have you seen the guy fight? I'm, the other guy? I'm just he's, saying. He's I'm just saying. Got, listen, he's only got one loss. He's twelve ever. and one. He's a big fella. His father, twelve and one. He's father big. Was a great boxer. Looks athletic. He looks bigger than Jake. He does. Right, and right. Jake's always the bigger guy as of late. Always. Yeah. Um, you know. You know. You know who this guy's one loss was to? Who's that? You know who his one loss was to? Who? Tommy Morrison's son. Tommy Morrison's son, son. really this is one loss. No, Get out of here. pretty sure. Wow, are you ah, pretty cool. sure? Yeah, wow. I read it. That's pretty. <laughs> Got to be true. I mean, we'll, we'll get like, some confirmation. Get to confirm that. Yeah. I think I read that. Mm. No, but that's uh, Tommy Morrison's son. Wow. Yeah. Tommy. Uh, Tommy, Tommy Gun. Gun. Tommy Gun. Tommy Gun. I, I don't fight that's... here. I fight in the, no easy. I don't fight in the ring. I fight in the street. Yeah. Remember yeah. that yeah. guy has got an interesting story, bro. With uh, the whole definitely. AIDS thing and denying He's like, well, it. And, my, my ring's yeah. outside. Yes, my yes, ring's yes, outside. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bro, he was a badass. But we hit him with he that had trip. You remember yeah, that I know. trip? You know the whole story where he denied it and then he wouldn't get the test and he refused to get it and they wouldn't let him. They wouldn't commission him to right. fight. Until and then he, he got was it. Fight, he was fighting at like uh, uh, he came up in, with every Indian excuse there was to to not get it. And right. finally, he just had to come out and be like, "I have AIDS," you know. Right. 
crazy. crazy. It was a death he, sentence. He tried, he tried sweating it he out. He tried to avoid it. At <laughs> he all tried thought. sweating yes, it out. Yes, he did yeah. say this, Remember right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sweat it out. Bro, you've been doing that your whole life. You yeah. sweat everything out. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. It, he does. But yeah. why is he dead and Magic Johnson's alive 45 he, years later? Well, because he had a lot of money. Yeah. It's got to be it, right? Well, Tommy had to do it right. No, he blew it on drugs. Yeah. He don't have AIDS. Magic Johnson don't have AIDS. You don't think so? I don't They're probably like, yo, listen, listen, Mike, listen, Magic. I need you to do us, do us, do us a solid. Listen, it's going to fucking suck. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to say you got fucking AIDS. Everyone's gonna fucking be scared of you and this and that. But we're gonna we're gonna take care of you, man. You're gonna <laughs> take why care though? Of... Why? Why? Just to scare the public? You think? This, yeah, this yeah. We gotta push this shit, bro. We gotta push this shit. Stop man. people from having sex. Shit. That's all. Yeah, that's all. It scared then, you into we doing. Were, hey, not then, listen, sex. Fauci was pushing pushing AZT back then. <laughs> You're right. Yes. Guys, you know. You're right. <laughs> yes. For real. That was his first hoax, right? And he had a couple sons. Yeah. Come so on. and what happened to that guy? You don't just see you don't see him at all anymore. You, Once in a blue you, moon, you make, no, anything. he's fucking talking. You know, every I can't do it. I can't. Every, everybody <laughs> wants. Everybody wants to say, uh, COVID, COVID's over. COVID's over. But it's still here. It's still yeah, here. it's, it's going to be here, here for everybody. It's like the yeah. fucking, it's the common right. cold, yeah. right? It's the common yes. cold where you lose your taste and your smell. No, it's not even. Well, time. we're talking about AIDS, right? Everybody was scared when yes. AIDS. Were you scared of AIDS now? You take Never. a multivitamin uh, now. I don't know over. anybody who's scared of AIDS anymore. And no. that was, when that no. shit hit, bro, that was everybody. But that was, was fear mongering too, bro. Yeah. It really was. Yep. Do you know anybody that has AIDS? No. No. Mm, do not. Nope. No. No. Nope. Tommy Morrison and Magic Johnson. Yep. Right. Guys who got all the pussy. You yeah, could yeah, never yeah, get, you yeah, could yeah, never yeah, get yeah, that yeah, much yeah. pussy. There's yeah. no way. Yeah. yeah. Or the, yeah. Roger could. <laughs> <laughs> because it's pretty, you know, you know how it runs, what circles it runs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You're losing your demographic again. <laughs> the same monkey pock circle. <laughs> oh, did you see that? With the guy uh no. your buddy conservative ant? No, I haven't. He was saying how something because I do uh, follow him, but I didn't yeah, see this. Yeah, he was saying how um, he's like, you know, I don't know, I just want to. He's you know, he's he's a little uh, I don't want to say flamboyant, but you know, he's, yeah. he, he likes to his talk. delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, he's like, I'm I'm not not saying this. He's like, uh, but I guess Pav or some some medicine, Pav. I think it's, mm-hmm. it's for people in the. He's like in our community, people take it. I guess to protect against AIDS. And he's like, and it's just kind of weird how in our community. Monkeypox is coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, there yeah, a yeah. correlation right. between those two right, things? Right. Or what? How did uh, Wilt Chamberlain not get AIDS? Didn't that dude bang like something yeah. like 30,000 yeah, girls yeah, or but something? That was, I think that was before the government released it. Who's the, <laughs> who's, the, who's the lead singer of Kiss? Fuck's his name again? Oh, um, uh, He says he's banged more chicks than Wilt Chamberlain. Richard Simmons? Yeah. No, not Richard. No, not Richard Simmons. Um, um, John, um, um, Simmons, you got it right. Simmons. What? Gene, Gene, yeah. Yeah. Simmons, Jesus damn it. Christ, yeah. Probably Although Richard Simmons probably does have it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a pretty good body count, too. Or, or how about like... Uh, um, Swatting into the oldies. <laughs> Who was the dude that they, they had the show, the whole family was on the show? He was a freaking... Uh, the whole family was on uh, the, the show? The Osbournes, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, he, Ozzy he said he used to like fuck bitches and wake up in the morning and just forgot that they were even there. Yeah, 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 the hell, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. But he'd, he'd wake up in the bed with oh, his wife got, and another chick. He's and, got yeah. What has he got? Park, is it Parkinson's he's got? Nah. No? He's I always twitching. He can't talk. Yeah, that's, that's drugs. That's drugs. That's, drugs. that's nah, what it is? Nah. All right. It's drugs. You I ever mean. see that thing? Was, I think it was uh, Motley Crue and them. I don't know. Some band and them were all touring. Uh, they were like, Let's see who could do the craziest shit. Snort like, the line of ants? He yeah, yeah, said yeah, Ozzy yeah, going yeah. out and snorted a line of ants. Fucking. That's not that crazy. It's just disgusting. It's, yeah, it's what, not dude, that you know what that Biting f- the head off the they're, pigeon. That's not No, no. It was a bat. It was a bat. First off. It was a pigeon. Was it a rubber bat? It was though? a bat. No, it was, it, a was a bat. it was a bat. It was a bat. It was a bat. I think it was. It was a bat. Look it up. It was but wasn't it a rubber bat? It was, it was a bat. No, one? it was supposed to be a rubber bat. It was a pigeon. And and someone ended up throwing up a real one, and this fucker bit the real no, one. He was Bro. he was he was in. Uh, his wife was there. It was what? It was a bat. It was a bat. Thank you. No. Confirmation once what? again. Eighty two baby. Was it was it a real bat? Is that telling you it was a fucking pigeon? Wow. Bro, think about live bat. Think about Roger, snorting okay. the ants. I'm they're not dying you. right away, so they're gonna you're gonna feel them bitches crawling behind your eyeballs. They, nah, they, they, you don't think they're dying? They're dying right away, bro. Not, not, not instantly. <laughs> One little fucking Good rip. Snort, probably fucking got the listen. The fucking ants got the red. It's fucking getting ODing when he goes in his nose because he's got all the fucking coke in there and shit. You know, yeah, right. he mixed it with crystal. <laughs> Roger, you could you could Google that however you want it, but it was a bat, buddy. Yeah, read it. Go ahead, read it out loud, bud. Read out loud. 
I was wrong. Oh! I was wrong. It wasn't a pigeon. It was a dove. A dove? It was a dove, motherfucker. It was pretty oh, close. Damn. The okay. dove is closer in relation to a pigeon than it is a bat. I think so you're right. This is true. The plan right. was that we could release them into the air approximately at a celebrity mo- a celebratory moment. But then, as Ozzy later told a journalist, it was this board meeting, and I started getting bored. So to liven up the atmosphere, I pulled out one of the two doves, and I bit its head off. <laughs> Wait, at a meeting? It was at a meeting, yeah. No, no, we're talking about the concert, bro. Okay, I'm just talking about, I watched yeah. the documentary, okay, okay, but no, well, and I no. remember his well, wife no. saying- so don't say, I said at the concert, oh, they threw up a okay. fucking real bat. Right. It was supposed to be a fake bat. I'm admitting, he, he I wasn't, got it wrong. It I, wasn't a pigeon, it was yeah. a dove, no, no, but no. this is what I'm referencing. But no, You're no, referencing. But I'm ta- I don't, yeah, okay. so I'm not wrong. Okay. I'm not wrong. I didn't but say again, you're wrong twice. I don't think Roger said at the concert, he said, didn't he This guy loves No, he didn't say also. He said, he said no, it was a pigeon. It wasn't a bat, it was a pigeon. He bit the head off. He bit the head off. A bunch of shit apparently yeah. Wasn't just a bat It was okay. a dove too Maybe okay. a grasshopper You've bit a few heads yeah. In your life too So Don't lose your social life here. Don't be biting heads <laughs> um, So Back to back to rock <laughs> we, we, we never can we, stay I know we fight. jump around we too never much can We never around fight. We can't I, but, but Jake Paul and Rockman Okay uh, Did you see the one The video where they're trying to Like uh, where they I guess they, they, they sparred back in the day Right yeah, And they yeah, had yeah. a beef And they're like and you could see, like, fucking Jake Paul is not talking mad shit, really. Mm. And Rock was like, yo, you want, you want, you're about to, he's like, I tried giving you good work. Like, in other words, like, almost like, it seemed like, he's like, bro, I could have fucked you up and I didn't. Right, right, you right, know? right, right. And Jake Paul, and Jake Paul's going, back, I could have sworn I heard Jake Paul say, I'm going to wrestle his ass. Um, so, like, no, did he I could have sworn, I don't know, maybe uh, I'm hearing stuff, but I could have really? sworn he said, which makes that's, sense. That's but the like, wrestler yo, in you hearing that. No, no, but no, no that right. makes sense. No, back yeah, then it makes gonna, sense. Yeah. Like, fuck, I'm, this guy's going to fight me, I'm going to wrestle him. For sure. You know, but. The fact that he is gaming, gaming up to fight. Like, honestly, I got to you got to give this dude credit. No oh, question. You got to give it. No and, question. And, and, and not like okay when he fought uh, the the other uh, rapper Jake, dude. Yeah, the other Jake Paul or the other uh, YouTube guy. Yeah, yeah. No big deal. The basketball guy. No big deal. Tyrone Woodley, kind of a big Tyrone deal. Tyrone Woodley, yeah. Huge. He stepped in with Tyrone Woodley. Kind of a big deal. Fuck it. That, that, even, took, that took bro, balls. Yep. Even that, Askren. Even Ben Yeah, Askren. even Askren. Even Askren. He's Dude, yeah, no. the world champ. No. Yes. Yes. Uh, dude. No, not in boxing. In, does, any, in anything else, not in boxing. No way, bro. Is, he is a so super world, high level did you world champion see, athlete. Did you see, leading up to the fight, did right. you watch... Him sparring. Did you see the fucking shape he was in? He didn't yeah. prep for that fight right, at all, and right. he's arguably but again, the worst boxer right, okay, in MMA. Hey, but, 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 MMA. All right, all right. But, but regard, okay. No right, but way. listen, you're giving regard. No Jake way. Paul. Not listen, Jake Paul. Tyrone said, Woodley, yes. Tyrone Woodley, yes. yes. But Tyrone listen. Woodley, he definitely balls for that. Tommy Fury, I think. Took some ball. T- took yeah. some this ball. guy's better than Tommy Fury. I like, haven't seen. Is him he though? Fight. I don't know. I yet. think so. I haven't seen a fight yet either. Tommy Fury's never fought. I, Tommy, I wasn't super impressed with Tommy no, Fury last time I saw him, but. His brother is straight oh, yeah. up the fucking man. Uh, he's the best. The absolute the best. best. But um, you got to give it up. To, and the fact that I, I give him credit, Jake Paul. Yeah. I never. But I tell you, they had, they, had, they had the press conference. I, I didn't see any um, of like talking, but I seen the, the, uh, the, the, the square, you know, stare down. Right. And like Jake Paul, he usually talks mad shit in this night. He he, he's not saying he nothing. He didn't say nothing. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think yeah. he's a little shook, man. I'm he didn't say I, anything. But, but answer me this now. He bought. He built so much hype off his fights because he was always fighting, almost mm. like sideshows, right? Like we almost knew that he wasn't trying to be a, a boxer, boxer, but he would fight. You know, the MMA guys. He wants to fight Miles Dahl or this guy mm-hmm. and that guy. If he goes into the boxing realm, eventually, does he lose his luster? Do you lose all those pay per view buys because you're no longer like a, a, a special, a novelty guy? Yes, because <sighs> think about it. If he went into the ranks of boxing right now, he's not the top guy. I mean, Canelo. Yeah. Is the guy who gets the most I don't, sales. I, think, yo, no, like, I, mean, I don't like, think he's and, doing it ever be the top guy. He's doing it strictly for financial purposes. But again, no, no. no. You don't think now so? you're fighting a 12 yeah, and one. a pretty so. good guy. Dude, did nah, you I see, don't think so. I, I seen he, one of his posts that he was saying, like, I had uh, Canelo's first um, X amount yeah, of fights. Yeah. And he's kind of right, bro. In right. a way. In right. a way. I just I would I would keep fighting. Yeah, I think. I, listen, I would disagree there. I think this is. This is. He knows. That the name goes away almost immediately if he starts taking losses. So he's yeah, got he's got to th- train hard and be good enough to beat these guys. But I don't mm-hmm. think he's ever going to try to be pound for pound number one boxer in the world. Listen, do you I, do? I, I do. I think he really? is, he is uh, 
whether it's real or not, he fucking believes it. He yes. seems like he's believing in it. Listen, if he was yeah. that unless it's all bullshit, so which he could has, be. So did Connor. If he has world champion, yeah, but skill. Connor was. He Connor is a world class guy. He yeah. was a world champion. He was a fucking two time a two two big class world champion. He is legit, right? Yes. But I don't think he'll ever box again because he got beat. Uh, he no, fought he, Floyd he, Mayweather, yeah, bro. I, I mean, I know, that's, yeah, yeah. obviously he, he could beat a lot of fucking guys. Right, He's not going to yeah. get the pop like he right, did on the Mayweather right, right, fight, right, right, but right. he can beat up. But a lot I'm of saying, yeah, but you see, they, saying, they offered him more. same reason. He cut, he sort of sort of paved the path for guys that have an immense amount of popularity, like Jake Paul does, right? To get huge paydays in the boxing world, like no. McGregor, kind of no, who did? Uh, I mean, Maybe no, you can't go McGregor. Uh, McGregor was an established fighter. I think McGregor, fighter. McGregor, yeah. McGregor was established absolutely fighter. trained his ass off and fight his ass off and did well for a guy yeah, who's never boxed sure. before. Did well, right? But I don't think he'll ever go back to boxing. No, I think you see, Maywe- Mayweather offered him like uh, 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 something you th- crazy. You think he'll go really? back? To it? Uh, well, yeah. I, I don't. Know, Dana has to approve and all yeah, that stuff. I don't think he will. That that is. Uh, well, it's either that. Listen, that's a leap it, listen, it, for him for McGregor. It's either that or come back and fight MMA. So. I think he will. His oh, payday won't be as big, but he's nowhere near as big. Nowhere near as He's definitely coming back for MMA. I think he's coming back. Maybe after that he'll box, but I mean, he jumped in. He jumped in some deep water. He wasn't deep fighting Tommy water. fucking Fury. You're fighting right. the best boxer right. in, I mean, yeah, definitely right. in our era. Yep. I mean, yep. maybe yeah. of all time. Yeah. I mean, fuck, man. Even Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Just to get ready Just for that. You can't do on that. On his record alone, he is right. the best. Like, you're a striker. Well, not the most interesting yeah, yeah. guy to watch. When you're a striker in MMA, um, for you to just become a boxer people think oh you box all the time that's something totally different the angles right. everything you but can't do he, that in six months uh eight months no. like to, to, to fucking fight mayweather like, like you said he's the best go by and i kind of off top but to go with, with your your um mayweather he's the best because he said he never lost right the right. best who would you but, rather watch no no but listen but listen pack no no but wait he's the, he, yeah mm. but listen he you're saying he's the best he never lost but uh um cesar chavez He's like ninety one and two. Yes. When did when was he was probably about eighty and zero at one point. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is he not Again, the fucking best? I will tell you this though: if you looked at his first eighty fight, uh, you know his first fifty to Mayweather's full fifty, Mayweather definitely fought better to guys. Who, 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 yeah, for right. sure. These guys were fighting twice in a fucking weekend, yeah. which is why career. he's yeah. renowned as the right. best. Yeah. He's yeah. the best boxer, mm-hmm. not the best fighter, right? The good way, good way to put it. It is mm-hmm. truth, but I mean, good when, way to put when it. you look at um, but bro, like. I mean, dude, like Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, no, the, Sugar Ray Robinson, I'm saying. Right. Dude, everyone considers him the best. Yeah. Dude, like, fuck, he fought so many fights. What, like, was, what was Rocky dude, Marciano's record? I know he, he was Italians undefeated. love yes. him. He was, he was four, undefeated. 49-0. Yeah. yeah. And they say, that's, they why, say that's why that Mayweather wanted to beat him. What was they, they said he could do with a nail? I mean, it's probably one of those urban methods, uh, urban legends, but right. didn't they say, like, he could... He could hold a hammer one handed, like just over a nail, and sw- his his and wrist, knock it in, and yeah. knock it in fully, See, it's like funny something I, like that. Roger got that beat. <laughs> yeah, he got that beat. He Here can make go. it disappear. <laughs> guy, on it. This guy thinks about cock more than anybody I know. He, he does. See anybody the thing I know. He is a fucking a dick pirate now, isn't he? Um, now isn't he? Now I, isn't he? He did a little accent <laughs> there. Now isn't he? Now uh, I also heard like an urban legend. He, he, he knocked out a fucking. A horse or a cow, yeah. like he punched yep. it. Right, you heard yeah, this yeah, too. I heard that yeah, too. Yep, yeah. yep. But think yep. about it. He was, I mean, the man. He's an Italian hero. Like Italians, one hundred and eighty-five you know pounds right. or one hundred ninety pounds. That's he all was, he was. He was light. light now, what champion. years was his reign? I'm not. I'm not. Uh, no, probably twenty, thirty, sixties. Nah, right? Yeah, you guys are. You guys, there's a I would big say, gap there. I didn't think I would it was say fifties. You said twenties. No, he said twenties. I don't think it was twenties. They were still fighting like this in the twenties. Yeah, yeah, and it was that was different. He was back there though. Definitely not fifties. I thought I thought sixties is what I was thinking, but I could mm-hmm. be wrong. Let's see. Because think about it. oh yeah, he fought Joe Lewis. I Joe see. Lewis was the whole um, the German thing, right? When he fought yeah, uh, Max Baer, he, he was right. at the end. So what is yeah? So probably the fifties. So I he mean, was. I know it's got to be before this. And what no, he competed was, from forty seven to fifty five. Wow. Oh, damn. Okay. So what? So he, after he, the he World loves, War II, he loves patting himself on the. He loves patting himself oh on the back. Oh my god! So bro, what he, was he has his, a heavyweight what, title from fifty two to fifty six. What was his record? Damn, that's a short career, bro. Forty nine and zero. He had he he fought for fucking eight years. Yeah. Right, forty nine. And, and he was an enforcer and, for the mob. So wait, the same was he? Time. Was yeah, he? I heard that. I heard really? that. One hundred percent. One eighty eight. One eighty eight. Damn. So he was forty nine and zero, and and and. Mayweather just just went fifty one and all because he he wanted yeah. to retire at fifty, 50 right? 50, right, no, right. 50. Oh, that, he that's the record. He oh, was right, to beat. it's fifty yeah. because 
McGregor wasn't considered an actual no, it no. Was. exhibition, was it? No, it wasn't. It was a real fight. Uh, it was. I don't think he got licensed. Yeah. But he was. did? Yeah. Oh, okay. This last one McGregor had. I mean, wow, did, he died in a fucking plane crash. Yeah, he got I decapitated. Never knew that. You didn't you know that? this? Jeez, never no. knew that. Never knew that. You didn't know that? You never got knew that. decapitated in a plane crash. Wow. Wow. I wouldn't. I would and think, I, I would I think you probably say, got completely wow, dismembered. Wow, he had in 56, so like right after he fucking, he stopped, he stopped in 56, and then he died that year, and he was supposed to come back. Wow. Mm-hmm. Commercial airline? Pri- private jet. Small plane. Yeah, probably small yeah, like plane. Like Aaliyah. Remember Aaliyah? Yeah, remember that? Rock oh, they, the boat. She rock was, the oh, boat. So high. She was, she was on some Work island. I forget what middle. island it was. Yeah, Puerto they, Rico, maybe? They over- no, the guy was they drunk overlo- or something. No, they right? overloaded it with, with uh, well, people and with all their luggage, and it was it was too heavy. And it fucking and it, crashed. And it got off the ground, but then it went right into the trees. But, like, you ever see the... Um, the list of people that die at 27, like, you know, um, um, that one plane crash with, like, the Big Bopper and oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie Holiday or yeah. whatever and all this shit, like, you lost some crazy people. Man. Everybody. That's how you travel. Uh, didn't, what, what Leonard, Leonard Skinner, like, who was the guy that was supposed to go in, in, in Leonard, or no, it was, it was the Buddy Holly one, one of them. Was supposed to go in Buddy Holly's or one of them was supposed to go in Leonard Skinner's but the thing Leonard, and they didn't. The Leonard Skinner crash, not everybody died, right? Only right, one right, person not, or two yeah. people? No, a couple. Couple, 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 couple people yeah. died. Right, right. Right. Yeah, I ain't getting on a little fucking plane. Fuck that a little prop job. You ever been on a little prop I job? Have, dude. Yeah, I was on one once. I took one Hawaii, to DC. I was. DC. It was like four of us on this fucking. Yeah, thing. I took off at like uh, in, in like Bayville. Yeah, that, that yeah, airport yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this thing was. Right. I remember I was getting. Uh, I did. And I got. Uh, I did an appearance. Went down to Walter Reed with a bunch of fighters. Eddie mm-hmm. came with me with us, and uh, yeah, this fucking plane picked up. I had the UFC was filming countdown. And bro, they ran. They fucking ran. <laughs> like we couldn't even fucking do any interviews yeah, on a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So loud. Uh, Scary yeah. as fuck. You're, I just, went, you're just staring at the propeller like you yeah, better not yeah, stop. Yeah. Oh, you better not stop. I went um, snowmobiling with my cousin in Bumblefuck, fucking Maine, like way up by the Canadian border. And uh, I had a layover in Boston. Like I, I booked the flight and I knew I had a, a, a like a layover and you know, change flights, but I didn't look what plane I'm getting on. I don't even know if it tells you, right? I don't think it tells you in your agenda, does. does it? Yeah. So I didn't look. So I flew up there from Newark on a fucking 737 or whatever. We land, had maybe, you know, an hour or whatever, and then they're like, all right, you know, they call your call your flight or whatever. And there's like four of us. They, they, they tell you where to go. We walked out on the runway and got in this fucking little tiny fucking puddle jumper where my elbow was touching That's the, what I'm my elbow was touching like the fucking person Marilla gorilla and there was four of us on this fucking thing and I'm looking at the prop and it's spinning like six inches away from the fucking window oh and I flew the rest of the way to fucking Maine to East Bumblefuck it's bad. You go out there, you see him start it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It landed in this <laughs> tiny little fucking airport. I uh, I flew on one, and then we went to to Hawaii on my honeymoon. And uh, you go uh, island island hopping, island hopping, yeah. But you know the touristy ones, bro. They're fucking shoddy as hell. Mm, yeah, them, dude. And the helicopter ride, you just they you probably don't, don't have you, to meet like FAA no, fucking don't, regulations. Dude, we were just hovering like, in yeah. a helicopter over waterfalls, and the whole Not shit. In Hawaii, just like, oh, like oh, oh, hop in, brother. Hop in, brother, my. My my uncle he he just fixed a prop. <laughs> you want to enjoy it? I, You're bro, terrified, right? I'm You're fucking, fucking terrified. white knuckling yeah. it the whole time. Like, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough, man. Where are the regular? It's like the fucking like when when they, the county fair comes to the yeah. you know I'm not putting my kids on those rides. Yep. This dude's got no fucking teeth. He's right. chain smoker. You can tell he's doing drinking and meth all night. I'm right. like you didn't put this thing together. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm not putting my kid on the the salt and pepper shaker and fucking shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ever think about. You never you never questioned it, right? You'd no, go, you'd go Just on the, get in and go the, gra- the gravitron. Remember that? Where you you'd no, stick I didn't to the do wall, bro. No, so I was when, like, I, when I, I was a kid, there runaway was runaway train. There was a guy, a local guy, that had a helicopter. I'm talking about. It had like a hangar in his backyard, and I mean, I come from like East Bumblefuck, tiny little town. But this guy, for whatever reason, his parent, his mother did well. His mother owned like the local hotel and restaurant, so right. you know, his mom did well. But he had a fucking helicopter, and I remember he would give rides. Like we'd have, and this is I'm talking about small town living. We'd have the Fourth of July parade, and he'd land this thing in like a field. And he'd take a few people up, fly them around, whatever. My the dad. The Fourth of July parade. Yeah, 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 Was yeah, it yeah. all you guys with pots yeah, and pans? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, pretty much nailed it. He pretty much nailed it. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah, it was just like people driving around. They they put a coat of wax on their car and drive it in the parade. That's, I feel like everybody, that's what it was. Every guy with a big truck is burning. Everybody. Out. everybody <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's so everybody, cool. So how, how pretty, you, 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 
for right. for years. My dad owned an oil company up there, and he had a little mini version. It was like a fucking one eighth version of it. I drove that thing in the parade <laughs> every fucking year. It had a little Briggs and Stratton motor in it. But anyway, he would land this thing, and he would he would give people just fucking people rides. And no, you're not signing waiver forms. And just no. tell, you know, come on, I'll give you a ride. You know, and he fly Did you around sit on his lap. lap? Yeah, yeah. Fucking but did, did always he, boners on this guy's mind. Did he, he, anyway, did he like run tours or something? Or no, he just he just no. had it He was just a guy that had a helicopter. So you just trusted this wacko? Like, I, that, I just put he said, Roger, take the that, joystick. That's like, my <laughs> point. That's my point. I just put the new belts on. Don't worry about it. That is my exact fuck, fucking yeah. point. And I got in this thing with my dad, and it was just big enough for like three of us. And we cruised around the town. Came. Out. I thought it was the coolest thing. Fast forward, like a couple years later. This fucker dumps this thing in the ocean, crashes it into the bay, and it fucking, he lived. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. The FAA came out. It was a big deal in a little town, you know what I mean? They yeah. come out, they're going to pull this thing out of the ocean. And, and they 100%, you have to, like, you know, you probably got to register that. Do you have a pilot's yeah, license? Yeah, yeah. You're just a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. wacko, yeah. Uh, you know. Could, uh, could you get to Canada from Maine? From where I was from? I mean, what is that? How? How? Yeah, you can get to Canada. Can you? Yeah. I've drive to Canada I've from Maine. Dri- I've fucking how? I don't know. You can drive to Canada from any state in the union except for fucking Hawaii. What does that mean? I guess. I'm well, saying. Well, it's not well, a state well, you can't I, I get can't to drive from. to Canada from sure New Jersey you unless I go through other sure states. Sure you can. Oh, well, you didn't say that. So yeah. This guy's a stickler for me all the time. But if what I'm do a you stickler, mean? I said, can you drive to Canada from fucking Maine? Sure. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. Maine people do that? People do that? Do well, they? Do they? You look at a map, the border of Maine. I understand, Canada. but do people fucking do that? All do the people time. go? They, when I was young, when I was 18, the drinking age in Canada was 18, so we would drive up there. Right. You could fucking drink. And like, but I'm saying Quebec. We drive to Quebec. Yeah, but that's that's near Maine. You have to go what, to New what, York. It was Maine? about. No, I think from it was, Maine. From Maine. Yeah, I think it was about a three hour drive. You go right to right wow. to Canada from Maine. Right. Wow. You don't have to go through another. Cross state. the Canadian border. Show your passport and shit, and go and right you straight. To how, how long? It I've take been it? to Prince Edward Island. Driven. How, I've been how, to. How long? Wow. I think wow. like three three hours. That's not bad at all, man. That's cool as shit. In Montreal, but I've done it. I've done one of my favorite cities. I've done it on a snowmobile, bro. I've crossed the Canadian border on a snowmobile. Really? Just to do it. We were in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, which is pretty much right on the Canadian border, and you gotta right. follow you gotta follow the trail system and figure out how to get there. But again, but there's no you, there's no you could just cross over no, that way, it's right? Fence, there's a fence. Oh, yeah. there is. Okay. I mean you could oh could you? Yeah. Right. You, you could, could roll up you on a could. snowmobile yeah. and show them your passport sure. no, and get no. in? No, there's points where there's no fence, there's no nothing. You're listen, bro. It's the fucking boonies right, up there. Right, right. You, you could make the, it out here would, to like, come on you in. You wouldn't probably find like a groomed trail. You'd have to fucking like pick your way through the woods, and you could get over the Canadian border and probably, you know, you'd be right, right. You'd be a hundred miles from the nearest town. If we gotta go, but I crossed I mean? over right. legally at a border stop just to do it, and you can tell these guys are fucking annoyed. The last thing they want to do is fucking because you got to go through two. You got to go through the American side and the Canadian side, right? The right. two like back to back. And this is the last thing these guys want to do. They like, fucking jerk off snowmobiles. Just want to fucking run, you know, because they got to come over, check your passport and stuff. Yes, oh yes. god, you got to do. You got to do a job, bro. You got to get the but fuck the, out the but, booth. But, it, but it's, oh, in, they're, they're it's in like for the invasion. Pittsburgh, for New Jersey. The Red Dawn. There's no right. track. There's the road, obviously, and the snowmobile trail kind of runs perpendicular to the road for a little bit. But the, the guy was a douche. The guy on the American was side was a douche. The guy on the Canadian side was okay. But then my oh, fucking, he's definitely nicer than the American. Oh, you know, he was yeah, definitely yeah, nicer than the American. Definitely. But then my fucking buddy John is just bullshit and making conversation and says to this guy, I don't, I don't remember what we were talking about. They, they were nice. The guy was nice, and we're just having conversation and bullshit. And like, what are you guys doing? And we had no idea what was on the other side of the border. We we're just, like, hey, we're gonna go camp. We think there's like a town or something. There was right, nothing, right. bro. It was maple syrup. What are you guys doing? I'm here to it get was fireworks. Maple like, <laughs> syrup farms, as far as the eye can see. Really? That was it. I swear. Like they have these drip lines that run between the trees and they run all downhill. So just these maple syrup lines. That's and they pretty run. cool. Yeah, yeah, did you get cool. yourself some syrup on the way yeah, back? We yeah, stole, there a, you go. stole a little syrup. Take a little okay. taste. But, a little but anyway, um, my buddy John said something about having his concealed carry permit. Because we're in New Hampshire. Everybody has one, right? Right. And this guy's like, oh, take the backpack off. Open the hoods on this. Bro, we were there for like an hour. He searched everything. Really? Because this fucking John. John's like, no, 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 no. He didn't show. He just told him. He just said. He was just Uh, making conversations. Said, oh, yeah, I got my concealed carry permit. And the guy's like, immediately says, do you have a gun on you? And John's like, no, 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 no. He didn't care. He searched everything, bro. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have said that. No, I don't know why he said that. We fucking gave him such a hard time after that. But we literally rode over the border on snowmobiles. Did like a loop around a fucking maple syrup farm, I guess, and then rode back. These guys must have been so pissed because they had, we <laughs> they we probably went, oh, see it all we were the there for an hour, right? right? The guy was checking us. We go over fifteen minutes. We come back. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, there was nothing there to see, and he's gonna check us again. Uh, they hated us, bro. Well, they probably see that all the time. I only ever did it once, but, but uh, from New Hampshire, though. From New Hampshire, yep, yep. 
Yeah. Live free or die. Live free or die, baby. You know, I don't know. I don't think it's changed. You know, that's like a non-extradition state, I think, which I don't I think that's why Ghislaine Maxwell went there. That's where she was arrested. But they extradited her ass. Right. But anyway, because um, it's a live free or die state. Remember the Sopranos where they all went to New Hampshire? What was his name? Fucking, uh, what's the guy's right, name? Sure. Uh, the pancake guy. Short cake or whatever. The gay guy. He went to New, what was uh, his name? Vito. 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 Yeah, he ran to New Hampshire so that, that he could get away. Remember he got caught blowing well, blowing the guy. Yeah, the, by, yeah, he got caught yeah. by Meadows' boyfriend, got, right? This guy remembers every gay fucking thing that's ever happened. Anyway, this is true though. Right? We you got, almost feel like that. I was with my cousin up there because he's lived in New Hampshire the last 15, 20 years, and this girl fucking t bones us at an intersection, fucking plows into us, fucks his brand new truck all up and stuff. Right. And I remember as the truck's still skidding down the road, he's like, "I bet that bitch don't even have fucking insurance." So we stop, and I'm like. Why? Why wouldn't you have insurance? He's like, because you don't have to have it in the state. You don't have to. You don't. The state doesn't require. And she didn't. She didn't have car insurance. And what? You have to just go sue her in court or something. He had insurance, so his insurance covered. But then your your insurance premium goes up because she don't have the insurance to cover it. What kind of hill? But I said, I remember saying, it's weird what like sticks out in your head, right? I remember saying him, why? Like I don't understand. He just looks at me, goes, "Fucking live free or die, state." So I guess they don't require certain things yeah, that a lot it's like of other the fucking states. Wild do, you know? West. Yeah. That's like I wonder the Amish, right? The Amish are riding these these carts with the horses on roads. With, yep. with do they have insurance? Because if they don't have insurance, that's some fucking bullshit right there. Uh, you better right. have insurance. Like they I all, have insurance. They all got that hazard placard yes, on the back though. Yes, oh, all the lights time, up in the bro. dark. They all, all the, got that. And they're never ripping. Anytime I go by them, they're yeah. never like ha. Yeah, I, yeah, I would be yeah, ha yeah, ha. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> they're never trying to do the speed limit. It's always like what the fuck <laughs> speed limit? Like wooden <laughs> wheels. <laughs> Pretty sure those things can't do 55 miles you, an hour. You start getting on the bitches. You can get. Bro, you remember the old horse and carriage? They fucking. You see, they don't. They don't. They can't have bikes either. Some of them can't bikes. can't? I, they have, like, scooters. Because I think oh, they can't yes. have a mechanical thing or something. Yeah, some, oh, is yeah, that why? Some of their tools they, have to be mechanical. Oh, they're dude, they built, they fucking built my house. Right. They, they redid my whole house. So they got to use phenomenal. circular saws and shit, right? Bro, I had five. They're not fucking cutting every board like this, no. are they? Oh, no, no. They ripped off all the, all the yeah. stucco. And, and I had five Amish guys at my house, right? So in my development or whatever you can't start work till eight o'clock so i mm-hmm. tell the guy like hey you know they said he can't I, the, the guy like that runs association gay, it's bro. ridiculous came over they were like oh my eight o'clock yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. they're there at six thirty, <laughs> setting up silently right yeah, these that. motherfuckers and and they literally have to saw off the whole side of the house yeah. yes bro first of all all dressed exactly the same yeah. the same little boom all day they're singing freaking song hey ho they were like the fucking like the seven dwarves i swear to god these people the most positive motherfuckers i've ever met you never heard a curse word nothing i'd wake up in the morning like go to pass that look and poof, i'm like hey what the, he's picking in my window you know but bro, why do they love suspenders so much no idea why is it I think they the, love the, themselves some suspenders i man. think they try to it's like the hasidics where they have to wear a certain outfit yeah. to, because of you know i think it's i, I so. don't know you know where you can see them pretty often point pleasant they rent out party boats and go fishing in point pleasant really where yeah. were we oh we i was at camelback or something like that with the kids and i remember they like all oh, the duh Amish Mafia is here. That's what they're saying. Oh, really? What, there's Thug Amish? Like? Yeah, Amish Mafia. Wow. Wow. Really? You ever, remember the show, show about it? Banshee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banshee. Was, was you that, know it? What? that fucking show was awesome. Man. Was it? Was that the name of it? I know there Cinemax. was a show about it. Yeah, Tony, yeah so about Tony Starr. Is the, you ever see Boys? I heard it's good. Dude, holy fuck, man. What a crazy boys? show. Boy, The Boys. The Boys. It's on Amazon Prime. Hmm. It's like a superhero ship, but they're like all fucking crazy Fucked up superheroes. You are a forty year old man. You watch superhero movies? No, this ain't. This ain't. This, 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 this ain't. This ain't. This is like vulgar. Fucking. Like I can't. I can't. Like I won't even watch this with my kids. Really? Oh, Not really? even my okay. kids. Right. No. Wow. No. It's 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 it's. Uh, it's like anime porn. It's fucking vulgar and like <laughs> and like, dude. This dude. The the one the one guy's like Superman pretty much. Yeah. But he's like he's an evil fuck. He's evil. Right. And like this dude just punches holes through people and shit. Really? Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. Is, what he is fucking it, like. What the, is he's like he's in the public and like he's in the public and the one kid's like uh, it's definitely a little political, a little political. Like the people that are on his side are probably like I guess Trump supporters, yeah, right? And then the people on the other side are liberals, right? And I guess uh, all the Trump supporters are like he's introducing his son to the crowd, and they're, they're all like yeah, yeah. And then there's one like it would be a little person like you fucking blah blah, blah and he's just. Lasers his fucking head off, and he's like, and everyone's like, everyone's like, 
Yeah! <laughs> Fucking great. I so, so, okay, so there's that type of movie you say you wouldn't let your kids watch, right? And I wouldn't let my kids watch. No, no, it's not It's not so much because of the violence. Cause I'd let my boys the watch the violence. No, there's like some sex stuff that's fucking like a little out there, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's the deciding yeah. factor. Because I'm saying, is. would you let your kids watch Deadpool? Full of vulgarness, full of violence, full of fucking beheadings and all that. But I don't think there's a whole lot of sexual content. No, nah, yeah, yeah. So would yeah. you let your kids watch Deadpool? I, I mean, my sons probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. they're probably watching shit. Anyway. No, just right, the right, video right, games right. alone. Anyway, you ever see these video like, games, yo, how real they are? Yo, this fucking boy's like, spoiler alert, like, there's one thing they have, like, it's called Herogasm. It's like a party where all the heroes go together and have, like, a fucking crazy or- orgy, all the superheroes. Chris, he's definitely gay, bro. What? You know your friend Frank is definitely gay. The, he's, he, bro, he, focuses, Roger wishes, he focuses so much on gay shit. I'm bro, never how is this like gay? That. I'm talking about hero gasm. It's a fucking orgy so with how many superheroes. Okay, so how many of those superheroes are chicks? There's chicks. All right? of them. They're all chicks. Right? <laughs> really? all chicks they're all yeah. chicks. One dude. Oh, no, no, no. A guy, a guy and chicks. There's everything. There's a lot yeah, of chicks. Anyway, right. there's yeah. one There's one superhero that this fucking gets, he shrinks down. To, he like, shr- like, he's like Ant-Man, I guess. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So he shrinks down and like, you know. Jumps at her pussy. They're, they're, he's <laughs> fucking the Barbie. He's fucking a Barbie in like the Barbie house, and everybody's watching. Like, yeah. How have I never heard of this crazy. movie? I've Dude, never heard of this movie. He's, fucking, he's selling it though. I've it never heard. Good. I, yeah, I, I almost want to watch it. Now. You guys good. remember Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. But listen, then, this guy, he, but he's gay too. He's fucking gay. This, this fucking little see, guy. See, crazy. Right, so then, <laughs> yo, it's fuck. What do you mean, see, bro? Like, get out of here. This guy. This guy. You know, you know, he's got little figurines of this dude like in a closet somewhere in his fucking house. Like Renee. Tell the kids don't go in that drawer. Tell the kids. You tell them. <laughs> Roger actually doesn't have to because, you know, he, he has free range. He has, yeah, yeah, kids, yeah, kids yeah, don't have, he has like the hidden room. The gerbils so. can run around on the <laughs> yeah, floor. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's good. <laughs> it can't be true, by the way. So listen, you don't think this so? Guy, this no guy, way you can stick listen, a gerbil in your ass. Listen, go ahead. This guy, this guy, this guy yeah. gets real small and he he's like goes in a dick of his like, his like, but his like fucking... I guess sex partner, you know, and the guy's like, oh, oh, and I guess he sneezes and he gets big and fucking the guy goes like, he's fucking <laughs> blows up, he's blowing up in his dick, They're fucking crazy. I've never heard this movie yeah, in my life kind of ever. It's a TV show. Oh, TV it's show, sorry. Crazy. What he's very particular. Well, it's a TV show. Well, I mean, you're gonna go, uh, you're, you're gonna go looking for this fucking movie. Ain't gonna exist. Whatever. Is it a series? It's like a, like a series, like a. Uh... It's what is it on? Season, Amazon Prime? Season th- third season, I think. Mm. Amazon mm. Prime. Mm. Bro, it's fucking funny, man. I was making funny for superhero shit, but it's, it seems pretty funny. We're going to have to watch it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Backing up a little bit, we were talking about 9-11. Probably one of the most prevalent things we'll ever remember in our lifetime. Yeah. As a child, can you think of anything else? One one just can't. I don't know. I'm changing the subject again. I'm going back, backtracking, I guess. But right. you guys remember the Challenger? Christy McAuliffe, the... The, do you remember that happening? I remember that like it was yesterday because I, I, my what? school, yeah, Krista, the Challenger, Krista McCullough, uh, yeah, the Challenger blew up, blew up the, the, no, the NASA the space, space shuttle. Rocket. You don't know uh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, space I remember space watching rocket. that. Uh, that was like... I don't remember. You're a little you know, while you were watching what year, the launch? What year was it? My school, you know what year it was? My school. So I was in... Seventh grade, maybe oh, eighth grade. So, so what was that? Seventh grade? Late 80s? Late 80s? Late 80s? We were in like first grade. What year were you born? 81. Oh, yeah. Well, you, no, you'd have been old enough to remember, but probably, yeah, probably not. But my school took the whole school, which wasn't a lot of kids, Harrington Elementary, to the one TV. To the one TV. To we the had one TV. <laughs> and, bro, imagine that. A bunch of school kids watching this fucking thing That's blow up. All, and that was and nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. We're all like looking at each other. We didn't know what happened. You no, know what I mean? no. They're like, this is a great moment. This is a, because it was a teacher. Fireworks. A no. civilian finally went up. In a in a NASA That's fucking right. space she shuttle. She's a civilian. Right. She's wow. from New Jersey, bro. Wow. She's from Jackson, I believe. Wow. Jackson, New- right. I believe the Jackson. Oh, McCullough? El- no. McCullough. McCullough. Yeah. McCullough. Yeah. The yeah. Jackson McCullough. Elementary. McCullough, I think, right. I think it's McCullough, but yeah. the, the Jackson guy. Elementary School is Named called after? the Krista McCullough. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, never yeah. knew yeah, that. Yeah. I watched that shit. That's happen. why it blew up. She wasn't an astronaut. She was like, what does this do? Boom. No. Chris is officially going to hell. That's hard. Chris I'm, is I'm sorry. Going I'm to fucking it's around. He's going to hell. Um, Mike Tyson biting a Holyfield's ear off. That was pretty epic. That, but bro, you're going to put it on the same level no, as. I mean, I mean no, it was. No, I remember it. Of course it, not. But I wouldn't put it on the same level. 9 11, and, and it's crazy now that to us, I mean, we, you, like, we just recalled the actual day. I can tell you the whole day. I can tell but now you kids, everything that happened. Kids growing up now is almost like it's like Pearl Harbor was for right. us. Right. How, saying, like, what what so year was Pearl now. Harbor? You know, the 69th. Yeah, December 7th, 1941. Yep. So, yeah, that was, that was 40 years before we were born. 
That's, yeah. that's a lot. That's no, I knew long. nothing about yeah. it. I mean, but I'm just saying that's how kids now feel. Like when my kids talk to me or I try to explain what happened to them. Or it's think like, about well, it. How about what, you know? what year did Kennedy get assassinated? 69, right? Or no, 60. 60. 69? How, well, so that's only 10 years from when I, you know. Right. Like yeah. 10, yeah. But again, not, from, not an event okay. I would remember personally as it mm-hmm. happened. Like an event my dad would 63. remember. Right, right. My dad was mm-hmm. probably, that was huge. But do you guys think country. like the way things are going? History as we remember it, our kids mm-hmm. aren't going to remember the same because history keeps rewriting itself. They keep changing history certain, books. Yeah, and, cer- certain history, you know, do. especially I mean, American history is changing dramatically. You know, yes, Christopher Columbus was a fucking hero when I grew up. He was. He well, was a Columbus fucking Day. hero. We was had Columbus Day, but yeah. again, now <clears throat> certain stuff like that, the Christopher Columbus, and you hear. Granted, he was he was a horrible guy at a horrible time where everyone was horrible guys. But um, what was he? Dumbass. He was dumbass. He was a horrible guy. But okay. again, all the Spanish explorers, all the I mean, they so were then all why why for centuries was he not? Because um, he discovered you know he discovered the new world. He right. Did, but what they but said, history so, books were written yes. as such. He was fucking eating a cornucopia with it with, right, with right, the Indians. Right, he didn't right. do none of that. He was raping and pillaging everybody. Uh, but again, now he wasn't. But why do you that? believe new history and not old history? Because you, wait, wait, what do you, you believe? What do you believe in? What do you mean? What's the old history? The old history is what you saw in fourth and fifth grade. The real history of the accounts that of what he, happened that, and was he was he horrible. Found America, right? Came right. over. He Nina found Pinter, actually. I think it was Santa like the, Maria. I think it was uh, Canada, right? No, 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 no. I think like the Caribbean. He landed. But in, wasn't Magellan right? the first one? Wait, no. What did Magellan no, no. find? Leif Erikson. I think was the first person to come over to America. I think. Is that the case? Viking, right? Right. But um. And like the, the like, history yeah. that we knew about Christopher Columbus was all whitewashed um, nonsense in school. But when you hear the real history and, and the accounts of the people that were with him, the things that he did. But but I guess my my, my, them, my though, point you know? is history is supposed to be history. It's right. ever changing. It's ever like evolving but, but and being yeah. rewritten. It's yes, not that the is same history That's as what when I'm I was a kid. History should not so what be are ever kids? evolving. If right. it happened, it's, this is the story. History shouldn't change. Never. History's fucking history. Unless we become, unless you, you, you find new documents, you might find a new side of the story, then maybe it could change a little bit, but things happen mm-hmm. and that's it. They happen. And, right. and, 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 and the context and the time that it happened, whether it be uh, the race relations or or the um, how people felt about different uh, uh, nationalities that has to be why mm-hmm. history was you know what I'm saying like, I, I guess my, my point is I, I I was born right small town living obviously very much to be a patriot didn't be have a sports. proud American yeah. no sports in this town no women did sports we had sports did you very, very it was in, it was we were, what was, was your go to are you a good bowler I bet you'd be a I good was, bowler I, I do feel like he's a I good was bowler. extremely good at fly fishing extremely good. How do you get good at it? Isn't that just I'm a joke? I'm joking. I've been fishing the day of my life. No, no but are you a good bowler? I think you'd no. be a good bowler. You could whip that, that, that fucking bowl. You, you think small town living? You think we had a bowling alley because I was small town? We, the nearest bowling alley was I'm just thinking it's kind 45 of minutes like away, like bro. Are you fucking real, you know. 45 well, minutes away to go bowling. And it was he's a talking tiny little. small town. Like, yeah, so I'm talking small town, son. Like yeah. small town. Like, yeah. And then he came here. And of I, all places. No, I no, know, no stop in between. I, you no. went from zero to fucking 160. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Good. that's good. But I thought, but but the, how you described it is what I absolutely thought. I thought it was, I was like, this is a fucking lot to take in. Holy shit. But this is really pretty fucking quiet and tame around here, honestly. Uh, like you, 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 yeah. You, not, you, but like, not, think of it. That it ain't you, New York City. N- listen, n- I. Bro, when you put yourself, the environment you put yourself in, though. Bro, you're at the fucking clubs right here. It's kind of like New York City, bro. It is. I mean, well, it not, definitely like, prepares you, know, you for everything else yeah. the world can throw at you. No yeah. question about Dude, it. From yeah. me, moving, I, when I first moved here, I thought I was in a fucking metropolis. Like yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I was wow, scared yeah, to drive yeah. at first. I was like, oh, we fucking, bro. The nearest traffic light to me. Well, we have a flashing yellow light downtown in Cherryville. We're we're a little elite. We're a little bit. Listen, wait, elite. hold on, hold on. Isn't Cherry Field where Adam that chick that yeah. was, was Cher- no Chester Fielding? Oh, Chester. Okay, I'm Chester there. Fieldington. You remember? Bill. Yes. <laughs> I remember. He, was, he got the reference right away. What, what remember is that the for? Adam Sandler movie uh, where that chick was? Fuck, uh, Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 Can yeah. I touch your feet? Chester Tinfieldville. Yeah. <laughs> that was what it was called when I when I grew up there. They called it Cherry Field. It's changed names now because when I left, oh, it's history. History's changing. There was no changing right in his fucking town. There was no. They're changing the fucking name of his town, bro. There was no oh, yeah. cherries left when I left there, so they changed. Oh, the name. No, hey. shit. no, you know what happened was Roger was the big name to come out of Chesterville or whatever it was, and they were like, Ugh, now it's called fucking know. Rogerville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, um, 
Yeah, I don't. I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> two beers and I'm drunk already. Oh shit! Yeah, you guys wouldn't. You, I don't know. I All mean, right, here we'll talk one more thing. Right, ahead, we'll, we'll, and we'll, we'll, two two guys that have been on the podcast. Uh, oh shit! Each other. Is Ligori ahead of well, how many times you been on Joe? Two. Oh, only two. Fuck. Fuck. All right. Well, who are you Frazier's, about? been on four. I thought you've been on three yeah, for some reason. Frazier's been right, on like, he's ahead. fucking fun. So right? anyway, anyway, that's you interrupted me. Sorry, sorry, pal. Sorry. Um, two guys are fighting. They've been on the show, fighting Corey, each other. Corey Anderson. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, Sean Brady. Yeah, right, right, Bilal. Right, Bilal. Bilal. Yes, that's gonna be a great. Bro, fight. Bro, fucking l- great. I love, fight. love, fight. love both of those. Love yes. both of those guys. Yeah. Really, truly. Really, I'm a fan of both of those fighters. Right, but right. I'll 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 make a pick. Will you, will you guys do it? Will you call it out? I'm not making a pick. <sighs> I, I no, would. It's gonna be tough. It, it, Brady's my guy, man. No, Brady. Brady's, Brady's my guy. This is what I love about this fight. I'm just gonna break it down. He's a Philly guy. We'll talk about Bilal. We'll talk about Bilal. First of all, Bilal is fucking getting better. He I mean, is. He, he beat he, Maya. No he question. He beat Vicente and Luque. He's a no he question. Dog. Took him down. Yeah. His conditioning. Nothing his, bad to say about that. Conditioning is fucking great. Yep. Um. And he did that. He wants it. it you can tell Ramadan. he wants it. Yep. Big time. But then Sean Brady. On the ground is a straight up fucking nah, murderer. Even, yeah. even, you know, and what, what, did, what makes me, what, 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 the thing with Sean Brady is when Eddie Alvarez told yes. me, he's like, yes. he's like, bro, I go with him. He's like, he makes me feel like I'm not strong. And, Eddie's and I'm got like, that, yeah. I'm like, bro, Eddie, you make me feel like I'm yes. not strong. Eddie got that, like, holy that fuck. uncle strength where he grabs you. Like, like, Jesus like, When Christ, I go with Eddie, yeah, bro, yeah. I got to use my, like, he grabs my arm. I can't just pull my arm back. I got to, like, use my body and fucking, <laughs> you know, I got to fucking figure some shit out. You got to get a knee in there. Bro, so I can't, yeah. I, I'm like, how strong, how strong can Sean Brady be, you know? So this is a big fight, big fight for both guys. Huge. And uh, right. honestly, I'll, I'll say this. I think whoever wins this fight will fight for the title very yeah. soon. You know, and yeah, honestly, yeah, if it went either way, I'd be happy for the fight. I got nothing. Yeah, right. I I love both those guys, but I just I don't know, bro. I think Brady is just I say he's uh, the fucking man. I think Blau, he's, Blau he's getting might, better. He's getting better. Yeah, yeah. I think Blau's no, which, standing up has, has a little bit has a little bit more, but uh, yep, that's where he can ground, improve. Obviously. I know, I know. Which that's I'm so interested in this fight because what's crazy is Sean Brady never wrestled. This no? motherfucker never wrestled. Yeah, that's, that's the crazy part, right? Take everybody fucking yeah, down. Yeah, George St. Pierre, yeah. this dude yeah. is. Yeah. You know what I mean? You take everybody down. And Bilal is such a great fucking wrestler. He takes everybody down, too. I was like, yeah. damn, where I is was, this fight going? I was, don't, this. don't, like most fight fans, sorry to keep interrupting yeah, you. No, Mo- most average fight fans or whatever. They don't like shit when it goes on the ground. I can't wait to see this shit I hit know, the ground, bro. I, I can't wait I to see it hit the ground. I will say, whoever, whoever ends up on the bottom. Top. Uh, whoever yeah. whoever ends yeah. up on top is going to pretty Life pretty is better on top, Roger. Yes, Unfortunately, sure. I know. Because if you get a takedown. That's live. No, that's not how you live. <laughs> but life's better on top. <laughs> this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, He's a bottom bun. Were you, you think so? Chris, Chris, will you pick? Can you imagine what kind of fucking slow position he would have to get in? He's so big, he can't just go knees. Are you standing in doing this or what? Are you imagining this in your head as you I, say it? I, you got to figure, the, di- you you gotta figure are, the dynamics of it, very though, disturbing, don't you? disturbing, both of you. I'm a carpenter, bro. I'm thinking. You're very <laughs> disturbing. Thinking, yeah. You're disturbing, both of you. So if I made a pick. Yeah. Um, if you had to bet your fucking mortgage payment on oh, it, who are you going with? Yeah, I'm fucking broke, too. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'd probably go with Brady, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. I, but again, if Blau can keep it standing mm-hmm. and in those exchanges he ends up on top more, yeah. I think whoever gets on top it's gonna be hard for the other guy to get down. I mean, yeah. they, they hold, you know, they're. they're yeah. uh, but again, it fucking. I would give the advantage to Brady Blau standing up, but I mean, Brady Brady's improving. Like, yeah, it's like Brady's definitely dog. improving. Yeah. And you know? I, I, both of them are honestly. Right, right, right. Both of, those are kind of guys where fight the fight, you could see a totally different. You're like Damn, absolutely, man, man. you know. Mm-hmm. But I definitely will be tuning in for that one. I won't be watching the highlight reel on that one, Frankie. I'll be what tuning is the, in. What is the date of that, I wonder? Mm. It's coming July up. 30th. July 30th. Shout oh, yeah, it out, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so July 30th. Do you want me to, do you want me to read it? Do you want me to give you the, yeah, yeah, the you approved want, you script? You want to read it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read it. Read, oh, read, it, read, it, read it. Read it. the approved script. Go ahead. This'll, listen, you want me to record you and this will be your fucking cut I can send? Do you yeah, want to start real low like the movie yeah, guys? On. on July 5th. Yeah, let's do it. Let's here bang we go. Ahead, out, go ahead. Where, where is this? We got you right here in the podcast room. Go ahead. All right. UFC Fight Night, Saturday, July 30th. The Asbury Ale House and Modelo present... UFC Fight Night featuring me, Frankie Edgar, Eddie Alvarez, and Roger Matthews, and 98.5. It all starts at 7 p.m. with the meet and greet, then the fights begin at 10 p.m. Enjoy $5 Modelo specials, plus enter to win a pair of tickets to a UFC event. Must be present to win UFC Fight Night Saturday, July 30th, presented by the Asbury Ale House and Modelo. For tickets, go to asburyale.com. 
Boom. Boom, not bad. Look at that, baby. Not Nailed bad. it. But you, gave, you took a video of it? Yeah, so you don't have to do it now. I'll just give it to you and you can send it in. How? Monkeys Monkeys give that? No, but I don't have to give like a voice note. Yeah, I guess for radio, it would be hard yeah, to see a video. Just, but you can right. use the... He just wants can, something for the spank yo, bank. Yo, <laughs> you can use... You're not my type. I like you this can angle. use the audio. You can use the audio from it. It doesn't have... You don't need the video. Use the audio. I, how do I use the audio? How do I just send them the audio? Is that possible? I can clip it off. Yeah. All right, there you go. See, you, Andrew, got a, you got a fucking Andrew techie makes, guy Andrew here, makes bro. What are you talking bucks, about? See? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about what? How do we do it? You don't know how to so do yeah, it. So yeah, uh, July 30th, they're in the area, Asbury Ale House. We'll be at Asbury Roger, Ale House. Myself. Are you guys going to be? Are Eddie's you going to be arm wrestling for charity or anything? Uh, Nothing. I'm I not mean, a great. That, I feel like I could be Frankie. How about I think you and Eddie Alvarez do I the fuck? Wouldn't be you in the fight. The, 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 give me no, something, bro. I give me something. You, I, honestly, I used to be good arm wrestling. Did I'm you? A fan. I'll tell I beat Brian, my cousin. Then you're pretty good, bro. Because Brian. Yeah, this is this is back in the day. Doesn't Brian have like stupid fucking idiot strength? Yeah, he does. And he's a freaking ogre. He's building it out, it was like a long go Outlast Was it? Outlast how, how many years ago? That's what it is I was in college bro His cousin's a big motherfucker That's yeah. what it is too He outlasted him That's yep. So Andrew After I called Frankie out last week For being a horrible Communicator I think he's gotten So much better Today was a good example Of it right 72 fucking Group messages I got later. to Listen listen bro He I'm, got I'm, to it eventually. I'm working out I'm working it. out I'm working motherfucker yeah, He's okay, working This guy fucking He's listen, working Listen Listen I don't want to throw you under the bus. This guy fucking drives and texts like they like fucking Mario and Dreddy. That's not true. Okay, that is not true. What do you? I, what true. do you do all? Day? Like, how do you pass your time when you are when you are driving? Do you, are you a podcast guy? Listen, to, you are he does one not of, listen to no, podcasts. No, are you a one He does not listen to the podcasts. Ra- the radio on my truck. He doesn't sucks, even know what a podcast so. is. So what do you? So what do you do? What do you do? You I, just you just fucking I raw get, dog life in I, there. You're just like <laughs> <laughs> doesn't doesn't matter what they give me for a route. My goal is as soon as they give me my route, which is. You know, like you, you definitely. Most guys would make a fucking day out of it. My fucking goal is to fucking get that shit done as fast as I so can. So when you get done with your route, boom, you're good. And you no, get, I can't get, leave, but I can just kind of fucking hang and get. I can do. And this know, is, and I go. This is, I go home for lunch. And almost this is where we day. see you at the, the multiple lunches <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the yeah. middle of the fucking day on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't care if they give me twenty stops. I'm getting that shit done by yeah, one o'clock. Why not? You know right? right? Yeah. Why dick around? And they don't care. They give me. Listen, they probably give me more than they give the other guys. Probably, honestly. Right. Right. And I still get it done. So if I get it done, what do they so, care? So you, know you don't mean? even listen to music. You're focused. You're just fucking humming I'm in just there, like fucking <laughs> cranking, getting that shit done. I want to yes. be done with it. Yeah, and, and just that's a good. Game, on, I don't want to have any fun. I just want to. I want to be miserable the whole time. No, I want to so, just uh, be on. I want to coast after I'm done. I always want to coast. Yeah, yeah, you know I, I mean? get it. I get it. I'm that so, way too. Yeah. I like to get my shit done. Should do an audible book. Yeah, that's true. I, should I do, do podcasts yeah. all day. Like, do you I really? can't believe yeah. you don't. You're, this guy is like uh, no, no, is no, one no. of the biggest <laughs> names in podcasts today. <laughs> yes, he doesn't listen yes, to fucking podcasts. Yes. You're, uh, you're, you're, listen to podcasts. You're both right, but what I what I should do, and you're 100 percent right, is I should bring my 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 headphones that yeah, I wear to the gym. Your, that's probably bring. fucking that, real safe. That, real uh, fucking safe. Let me drive a fucking rig full of full of fucking <laughs> fuel with why headphones on. <laughs> What's the difference? I don't you drive with my ears. Yeah, I drive with my eyes. Right, you put one ear put in. What's yeah. the difference if you got the front? Because when I'm honking at this motherfucker, <laughs> move over! He's not going to hear me. <laughs> I ain't holding this guy's, I ain't holding anybody This guy's up. fucking listening to shit. Who, yeah, who knows what he's doing exactly. in the fucking drive? I got the foreman girl in there. He's always in He's in a perpetual race with just the whole world. Right? He feels like I'm competing, baby. I'm competing. I got that one. Very I, I'm competing. I'm competing. He's now he's got a boat. Extremely now he's got competitive. A boat. So we had Marky Lee in not long ago, and Marky Lee, I said, you know, he just got promoted to captain. I saw yeah, that. Bro. That was huge, so bro. Yeah. He's so, so young, dope. bro, to get that position. Yeah, so young. I don't know bro. if that. Yeah. Uh-huh. What is he? Thirty-five. Yeah. Thirty-six. Seven. Yeah, no, that's no. huge for him, bro. Yeah. I'm really happy. Martin, well deserved. No, you know, be, yeah, being his you dad. know what's crazy? Though? I'll tell you what's crazy. It's all a test. Yep. It's not. How good of a fireman you are? What's that yeah, crazy? Which be it's literally a fucking like a, a test. Oh, written. A yeah, written you got, test. You got to be not like no, like tough. you know, you would but think no, but, it's but like but who's that, the best that, guy on the job. But but, well, but, but but that comes down to knowledge, right? right? And, and yes, listen. but no, but still, like I feel like especially that a lot of it has to do with like you're a captain, you're a team leader. How do you? Handle situations, right? Like, I would, right. You know, how do you handle of, the people you work with? None of it is based with? off that. No, no. really. No. Well, think about it. The academy, they're like, hey, if, if these guys went to the firefighter academy, in their eyes, you guys are all equally trained. They don't yeah. realize that one guy's more physically fit. One guy, uh, is, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they're the, co- the, the, the cops at Uvalde were book guys. Yeah, they were book trained, and they went by the fucking book. Right, they shouldn't right. have done that. Well, I'll right. tell you, it was awesome too. I went up to the to the ceremony. Uh, I saw you there, city, yeah, yeah. Me and Steve and. uh but they had the bagpipes and the whole ceremony. And like, yo, the the c
I was talking like Jersey City's a fucking one. Like, it's the biggest fire uh, fire department in New Jersey, yep. and like they help everywhere. Like they're they're like one of the best in the in the country. It's pretty fucking cool. Really, you know? really. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, what I, what I was gonna say to you, Chris, for my partner over here rudely interrupt me is, I, I don't think I did. <laughs> I said when Marky was here, Marky has been to, I, I, I actually said it wrong. I said Marky has cornered Frankie every fight he's ever had. I said it wrong. He's been at every fight Frankie's right. ever had from day one. Right. What, have, haven't you pretty much been to every fight? Pretty much. Pretty yeah. much, right? Yeah. I missed a couple yeah. times. That's children, crazy, man. 16-year um, career, and you've been at uh, almost every fight. Yeah, That's nuts, bro. Yeah. But 17. I, see, 17. I, listen, 17 okay. years. And That's I, and crazy. I, and, I, and listen, Marky's my boy. I love him, right? But Mark goes on the trips. Gets a little sweat in, then he's fucking <laughs> out. In, he's out jet skiing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been getting beat up for fucking sixteen <laughs> goddamn years. Okay, I'm different. I got a different experience altogether. <laughs> I see the fucking ceiling tiles of all the hotels. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got nah. to go eat some street meat in fucking Korea. I did. I might have brought that back to coronavirus. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Listen, we're 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 eating off a off a food truck in South Korea. I don't know what the meat is. It's like mystery meat. I said chicken, chicken, and yeah. she like, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm like whatever. It tasted good, right? <laughs> yeah. So we sit down and whatever. So she puts a bottle of water on the table, and I'm like, I right, put the water down and drink it. We're bullshitting or whatever. So I look over, and the lady takes the fucking bottle off the other table that was people are done with, and she's filling it up with the fucking hose behind the little stand that they have, and then closing it and putting it in there like oh, it's a new bottle of water. God. I'm like, ah, you know. Uh, but we were good. That's, that's, that's that. Uh, remember the video? Did I show you that video? The sewer grease. I'll send it to you. They cook with mm. some. They they take a they take the manhole cover off a sewer and dip like a like a long ladle ladle down in there and dip it out and they cook food in it. It's the most disgusting thing you yeah, where the where Ch- somewhere in China. No, I think. how yeah, are people yeah. not dying? Oh, bro, from that? it's I'll send you the video. It's absolutely what is disgusting. it? A grease pull trap? Pull it up. Pull it's it up. A... Sewer sewer grease cooking or whatever. I think oh. it's in China. Like but, a grease um, trap. I got a little. On? I got a little. Just a quick little story about the podcast. This has happened to me a couple times. Well, not this exact same thing, but meeting people that are fans of the show. Apparently, I've met all sixteen of our regular. <laughs> I've met all sixteen of them because hey. everywhere I go, people are like, "Ah, oh, bro, I love Champ the Tramp." But listen to this. There's eight get deaf people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a- so I don't want to talk about what it was because um, Jenny and I agreed to not discuss it publicly what it All was right, well, yeah. like, you didn't, didn't even need to say that because Go ahead, keep going because you'll shout it out <laughs> no you i won't idiot. yes no, I you won't. will because you know what it was no, so anyway my daughter Wait, my ma- daughter had a surgery right? right it was an elective surgery she's totally fine she's totally good but anyway we go to the surgery center last um thursday and um she got there before me and they were just walking in and she's like, where are you? I was like, I'm just walking down the hill. I'll be there. And she's like, all right, I'll wait for you at the reception desk or whatever. Right. We just got here. I walk in immediately. My It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. My daughter runs, jumps in my arms and I'm hugging her. You know, I know it's going to be a stressful day. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm a little, I'm a little emotional already, you know what I mean? And uh, Wait, while, you're, while you're tear, I'm tearing, no, 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 no okay. I'm just holding right, her, right. having a moment, right? Your, your nipples are starting, to yeah. Get sensitive. And while I'm holding her, I hear the guy that's standing there at the front say to me, "Sir, you need a mask." So, and I should have known, I guess it's a yeah, hospital, it's a sir, you know, right. I, I wouldn't have done it intentionally, but um, you know, I'm still hugging her, so I just didn't even acknowledge it, you know. And I put her down. He's like, "Sir, you need a mask." And I was like, "All right, all right." He's like, "I, I got one for you. He handed me one." So I put it on, right? And he's like, yeah, sir, you have to go over there and get your temperature. You know what I mean? So there's another lady sitting behind one of those things that has puts the laser dot on your head and takes your temperature. So I walk over. Before I even get to this fucking thing, she's going, sir, all the way up. Mask all the way up. All the way up. So I'm like, all right. So uh, I put this fucking mask like up. We're whatever. still doing this. Uh, uh, whatever. I did uh, yeah, it. You know what I mean? In that setting. I but I don't even make eye contact with her because I'm annoyed. Like, I just want to hold my kid. And not their fault. Not blaming them in any way. It's right, the policy. Right. But I'm just annoyed. So when she says it, I don't even make eye contact. I just go like this, like thumbs up. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I got it. And I pull it up, right? Take the temperature. I turn around and the same kid that asked me, you know, I got it. You sorry, you have to put a mask on or whatever. As soon as I turn around, he goes, bro, I'm a huge fan of your podcast. I was ah, like, that's fuck, cool. I was just kind of a jerk off to you. That's cool, though. <laughs> Did he ask to take a picture? No, no. Now no, that's all over the no, place. No, I no. Met, I met he Roger was, he, Matthews he, he, today. He's I, a jerk I, off. I, I was like, yeah, thanks, brother. I appreciate Adapted. the support. Bro. There you go. Yeah, he's a fan. He's a fan. That's cool. He said I listen to it every week, so that's cool. He knows how you feel about masks. I said that. As soon as I walked away, the first thing I said to Jenny was, if he's a fan of the podcast, he knows exactly how I feel. But, the, but I mean, it wouldn't yeah, change it's anything. It's not his, fault. Right, not his right. fault, you know? It's all their fault. So I wore that fucking thing for eight hours. <sighs> Come on! You probably get a. You probably got cancer. <laughs> Once you got your own room, yeah. you want me to walk me through the hallways? There Bro. might be somebody here with you know got uh, cancer or something. All right, but I'm in my own room. Eight hours. I wore that fucking thing. Uh. Well, 
Good go, boys. That was a good, good go. Good go. Solid go, boys. Thank you, fellas. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Time. Chris, always a pleasure, sir. Always a pleasure. For sure. I hey, feel, make, I feel like uh, kind of the, the, uh, helped create this. You did. No, no, yeah, no, no you didn't kind of help. It wouldn't yeah. have happened if you didn't. Uh, I told you. It was about a year gap between the time Frankie called me. It was a 30-second phone call and said, hey, bro, you ever think about doing a podcast? Not yeah. with me. Not, and I said, no, I never really thought about it. He hangs up. Like a year later, you DM me. Bro, you yeah. know, you and Frankie would be like. I had no like, idea. Like, I had no idea that he did that, he did that before yeah, yeah. and oh, said that to you. Maybe not a year, but well I was before. Just, I was just thinking about it, and I'm like, I don't know if he was talking about doing a podcast or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that, that that's fucking kind of perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? And right after that, I call, after you, your message, I, I called Frank. I was like, bro, what? He's like, you fucking idiot. I asked you six months ago to do hey, a fucking dude. podcast. I was like, he called you, you up. You ever think yeah. about doing a podcast? <laughs> Not really. You're a fucking asshole. Click. Yeah, like, yeah, that that. I'm like, all right. That, that was right, the yo, conversation. He shut me off. No, he's like, I'm like, yo, you ever think about doing a podcast? <laughs> Not not, not necessarily even with me. I would probably, if you were like, right. yeah, maybe. I, I thought you do. meant just me on my and, own. And I'm like, you ever think about doing a podcast? He's like, no. Nah. I'm like. All right, uh, there was nothing after. It was like, no, but again, literally was no. Like, oh, and again, All right. click. Hey, good, good seeing you. Click. And, and yeah. again, for you though, him saying it, you're going to do a podcast. Why? <laughs> I just want to hear you talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Obviously, he wants to do it with you. I, 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 I mean, didn't get it, bro. I did, the... It went right over my head. <laughs> oh, didn't yeah. get it. Not but surprising. no, but I, I told him, and I'm like, bro, you, you guys, you guys should do a podcast. I think it's perfect. You know, I started, <laughs> I started pitching it to him. You know, he's like, I don't know. I'm like, I, you know, because he was like, I, he, I, I think at that point you said. I think I asked him before and whatever, and I said, "I, if can I just fucking can I ask him and I'll just say like I, you know, I didn't yeah, talk yeah, to you." Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, you can, you yeah, can." Yeah, yeah. It yeah, came together can. pretty quickly after you DM'd me, but anyway. Mm. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I've been suffering down in this room for two years now with this jerk off. I know. I mean, I didn't know that that little fucking idea I had would would you know bring <laughs> bring all this fucking work. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. To make it. Yeah. Nah, this place came out great, man. All right, man. Champ in the tramp out. Till the next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you, fellas.